Okay, here we are again. And I am frozen, I'll tell you what, my hands are... Yeah, not, not good circulation, not at all. Okay, it is 429 on my phone, 428 on my non-phone uh, clock. So we'll get started in like, okay, it's 429 now on that clock. So we'll get started in like two minutes. Until then, we can stare at space, the final frontier. Okay, let's start the loading process because by the time it's done, we will be uh, at about 4.31. Uh, I think I actually want to load my other one. This one. Yeah, we'll load this one. Of course, they had to say, oh, intercorporate disputes, too. We can't have it all be just international. Because you see the, the buying and selling part is more important than the political part in this universe. So I did a little bit of looking around. Um, not so much looking around in terms of like looking all over the place here and potentially uh, you know, getting dialogue and stuff that I didn't get before. More, I looked at the map and when I saw five out of six floors and I saw that there were six floors, I was like, oh no, there's a million bazillion floors in this place. Well, as it turns out, the floors are not like separate maps. It's just like we've already been to floor four because that's where our ship was docked. Um, other floors are further along in the station and when we go up top, we may end up visiting them. So it's, it's not as big as I was assuming it to be. And um, I decided when I figured that out that we were gonna just explore the rest of it on our own. We'll, we'll figure out uh, you know, what's where. But I did do a couple of things off screen that I'm now going to do on screen here. Um, I just, uh, I, I messed something up when I did it, so I figured it would be better to just do it here and now while we can. So, that being said, how you doing everybody? Welcome back to the Outer Worlds, the stream edition, 
Last time, we made it to the ground breaker, and we were grounded on the ground breaker. Somebody needs to fix both of those. And this time, as you can see um, over here, I have actually removed partner helmets while we are here so we can see their faces um, while we're in you know, non-combat situations. And what I'm also going to do is I'm also going to give them back their normal gear. Uh, while we're here. And of course Parvati looks a little ridiculous with an LMG equipped while we're, you know, in the middle of doing all this. But I figured this way they have their armor that they have um, for combat and they have their armor that they have for just hanging out on the ship. Um, and that should make things relatively okay. I might actually switch this out for this for you. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay, that's fine. So yeah, now they've got that stuff. They will get their regular armor back once we uh, get in a combat situation, though. So don't worry. We'll, we'll get it back. Don't worry. Hey, Conquer, It's going good. How's everything going for you there? Um, I also need to do a couple of things here. Um, I want to hold on to those two because they might come in handy soon. But I'm actually going to just break down this hunting rifle. We won't need it anymore. Don't need this don't need that and I'm getting rid of the sawed off shotgun because it's really like like I should have just read the text for it and it says if you thought Hammersmith's tactical shotgun gun was hard to aim wait until you try this gun however when you hit someone they'll feel it yeah it's it has hard time aiming it has you have to be like on top of the person hit them with it so and I know that's the point of a shotgun but I'll just stick with the plasma rifle and the assault rifle for right now that should do us good for now uh, a few other things I want to break down. So this is Parvati's armor here. We don't want to break that down. This is um, the Vicar's armor. We don't want to break that down. We do want to break this down. And I think if I remember right, I had better armor in here. Yeah, I have better armor right here. So I'm actually going to equip this on myself. Yeah, it's not bad. Is it light? I forget. Is it light or medium? It's light. Um, okay, so that's fine. Let us break down a few other things. We won't need these. Um, we won't need that or that. Let's see. Troop armor, right? Control armor and troop armor. So we won't need this. And we won't need that. All right. So we're good for that for now. There's also a bunch of things in here that I don't need. Um, I'm going to... The things that I'm going to keep for the... Uh, for the inhaler there are actually just the sugary drinks because they give me body attributes and my body attributes are the things that are average um, on my uh, character's skill screen so increasing those by one will actually increase them to good which will give me a few extra bonuses in a couple of uh, important places mostly in like um, you know dodge or sneak block uh, well I don't need block but inspiration and intimidate also so we're going to keep those, I think. I don't know if it'll come in as handy as uh, something that would give me, like, uh, what's it called? Uh, personality attributes, but oh well. Just cleaning the house earlier, now just looking for better armor sets for fighting the behemoth monster in a world with what you can make. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, gotcha. Yeah, fighting the behemoth is a, it's a, it's a big thing, that's for sure. Um, hopefully you find what you need. Wish you well. Let's see here. So I'm just going to like junk like every single one of these things that we don't actually need or that I'm not planning on using. I think eventually I am going to be able to unlock a sec a third slot rather, this slot here. So I may keep these pep pills because it gives companion ability cooldown. Um, so that's rather nice. I don't know if it has any... Um, like addiction to properties to it, but I guess we'll find out, won't we? Uh, that's body attributes, that's mind, so we'll just put that away. And that, that's body, so we'll keep that. Health regen, that's fine. Uh, whoops, not what I wanted to do. Unequip. There we go. We will get rid of that stuff. And this, this. Um, that's also companion ability cooldown. Yeah, hold on to it. Uh, let's see, that's fine. Don't need that, or that, or that. Okay, so we'll hold on to these for now. And I will 
Um, just, I guess, just equip the apple juice for now. Mock apple juice. It's a play on uh, the Mott's brand of apple juice, I think, if uh, anybody's familiar with that. Uh, okay, so mods that I want to keep. I want to keep the gyrosite in case I get a better shotgun later. Um, this I want to keep because I can use that for something else. Melee weapon skills and defense skills. I don't need either of those. So a muzzle, it might come in somewhat handy, but I don't really need it that badly. Silver tongue I'll keep for my armor. That's for the plasma rifle. I should probably keep this just to have it in case I can put a barrel on something. Won't need these. Um, I would like to keep that because I'm going to put that on my assault rifle. I uh, won't need that, and I don't think I'll need that either. So now it's just weapon and armor parts, and I think we're in good shape now in terms of our gear. Um, I just need to go and go to the tinkering bench real quick. Actually, I need to go purchase something before I go to the tinkering bench, so that's what we'll do. Mainly just need the behemoth to cooperate with you by not spamming meteors and tornadoes in the second phase, but some different armor pieces might be helpful as well. Ah, okay, gotcha. Yeah, just see, I mean, if the armor helps you to, oh, excuse me, get you to the second phase, that uh, definitely would help out. Don't think I don't see this Deadeye Assault Rifle you're teasing me with, Bell. I know what you're up to. Ooh, someone has got to talk with Chief Tennyson about the thermostat around here. Ooh, ain't gonna be me. Probably not gonna be me so, either. You buying? Actually, I do have to talk to Chief Tennyson, so I guess it will be me, won't it? Uh, let's see what you got for sale. We'll sell all of our yunk. There we go. Nice, decent chunk of gear that we've got there now. And I'm actually thinking I might get Parvati an assault rifle. I don't know. I don't think she has an assault rifle. I think somebody else has an assault rifle. Um, and the reason for getting her an assault rifle is because I'm going to put plasma on it. Because that should um, actually stack up pretty well with her uh, shock hammer that she has. Um, because plasma is actually better against organic creatures. With one exception that we'll get into later in the game. And um, shock damage is better against mechanical creatures. So. But both are equally effective against humans, so it'll be good. Oh, you can get to the second phase reliably? Okay, gotcha. Second phase starts spamming those two moves a lot. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to... I can understand it would be hard to deal with if it's spam and stuff like that. So anything you can do to make him not spam would probably be for the best. I still don't know how to get restricted stock with the regular vendors. I know that you can get restricted stock with vending machines if you uh, have a certain level of hack, but I don't know if you can get it with the other stuff. Well, anyway, so that's that. One last thing we're going to go do before I start exploring around. Um, well, actually, I need to find an assault rifle for Parvati first. So she'll still be Doom Girl, it'll just be slightly less Doom, I guess. <laughs> uh, vending machines are out here. I don't remember if these ones had assault rifles in them. But we're going to find out, because I'm here now. So, uh, What you got for guns, bruh? Sawed-off shotgun and a hammer, not that one. Uh, this one might have... Yep, there's an assault rifle. Uh, 600 is a little bit on the very expensive side, but that's okay. I mean, I, I've scrapped a million of them when I've gone and, you know, done stuff. So, um, But yeah, we'll give Parvati the assault rifle. Um, I Like I said, I want to have, have plasma damage on it and essentially keep plasma damage for her ranged weapon throughout the game. Um, because that should, again, synergize well with her shock damage on her hammer. So that's, uh, that's the idea. So let's purchase this. Thank you. Oh, excuse me. Good lord. And we'll give that to her. Uh, where is it? There it is. So yeah, slightly less Doom Girl, but uh, eh, it should work okay, I think. And then we've got, we still got her in this, so that should, that should be fine. Yeah. This should be fine. Okay. Um, so, and I, I think I can mod it with it equipped to her. Right over here. So let me see. If you're fighting it solo, those attacks practically exclusively targeting you, which means you lose out on DPS. Oh, okay, gotcha. So yeah, you definitely want to do something about it. Don't want to lose out on your DPS there. 
because that would be rather bad. Um, okay, so here is her assault rifle. We need to install a mod plasma. Yep, that's the one. Mag to power. Uh, that's fine. We'll we'll find another one, I'm sure. And I want to keep the mag two zap for myself. So that's what we're gonna do right about now. I want to take my plasma rifle and I want to give it this uh, sight. So I can use it more like a sniper rifle, like I have been using it. And then take the assault rifle and change its damage to shock damage from ballistic. Because ballistic is the basic damage type in this game, but it's not really that effective against anything in particular. It's, it's pretty good all around with the exception of armor. If enemies have any kind of armor plating, it's not good. But if you have other forms of damage types, um, it does a little bit better. So There's one reliable way of stopping the tornadoes, but at best you can only stop it 14 times, and after that you just have to tough it out. Oh my god, 14 times. It sounds like a long fight. Oh, good lord! Um, and we don't need to worry about the spread because it's not a shotgun, so I ain't worried about the spread. Okay, so that takes care of that. Um, the only other things that we'll need to concern ourselves with is we need to get uh, the Vicar a better shotgun because the sawed-off shotgun is not good at all, um, at least from my experience. So we will try to grab him something in a little while, but for now we're for now we're probably fine. And uh, with that, I think we put your gun away. <laughs> With that, I think we can move to other places. We were told to go into the Lost Hope, so we're going to probably go there soon as well. Um, is there anything else I should add that to junk? Let's see, is there anything else I want to get rid of while I'm here? I don't think so. It's just the LMG, but I can get rid of that in different places, so... All right, come on, lady and gentlemen. We have uh, a couple of other things to do. We need to check in with the Spacer's Choice guy over here because he's got a couple of new vendor items. Well, sorry about the heat. Chief Tennyson will get the radiators fixed soon. Of course, this heat sure makes a zero-G brew extra refreshing. It's an ale that's good for what ails you. Oh, and it's not the best choice. It's Spacer's Choice. Taste the freedom. Hmm. A lot of slogans to keep track of. Sometimes I forget. Yeah, I mean, I don't blame you, man. <laughs> it's It kind of sounds like this guy's voiced by Patrick Warburton, but I can't quite tell um, beneath the filter that he has on the on the mask that he's got there, which, uh, yeah, I guess I do kind of have to ask you about it. I'm bound to satisfy headgear-related inquiries. Please send any complaints to our consumer care headwear division. Not a complaint. I just, yeah, I just want to know where you got something like that. Like, holy crap, man! Is that just like a Spacer's Choice logo? Do you have to wear that every day? Oh, I'm having a stellar day, and not just because I'm legally obligated to say so. Almost as stellar as a Spacer's Choice is affordable. Uh huh. Sure. Yeah, I guess that is another question. Can you see in there? It looks like it'd be kind of hard. Uh, I can see all of the top quality merchandise in the Spacer's Choice catalog, which is available here at a reasonable price. <laughs> so the answer to that question is no. How do you brush your teeth? <laughs> what the hell kind of question is that? Oh my god. All right, let's see what you're yeah, selling. Have a look. Okay, so we can do this to sell that LMG off. Goodbye, LMG. I'll miss you. Now, what do you have in here? Revolver. There's another LMG. Could be mine, even. Another impact hammer. Yeah, okay, so he's got a few um, armor pieces that we could get. He has a million bazillion of those moon helmet things. Ordnance control armor. Now, that's interesting. And those are the things that Parvati's already wearing. Okay. What else you got? Anything that I'd be interested in in terms of that? You got plain and pure water. I mean, I guess that's pretty good. And dehydrated water, so that, that should help a little. I'll grab a few of those. Just to have them. Um... I 
think that's it there. Let's see what you got here. Critical damage. That changes the what melee weapon to plasma. Okay. Excuse me. Ranged weapon skills plus five. That's not bad. And that's for light stepping. There is a uh, mod. I don't know if he has it. I don't think so. But um, there is a mod that some of the I think some of the vending machines have that changes the damage type to corrosion, which is a really nice uh, type of damage. That's it's pretty much good against everything in the game. It melts through armor, it melts through mechanical enemies, and it's I mean obviously anything that's corrosive acid is not very good against flesh, so it's pretty good against organic enemies too. It's just very expensive, so we probably won't be seeing it for a while. Hopefully, we'll be able to uh, get it. Uh, from a drop or something, or from treasure somewhere. The quest itself is limited to 35 minutes total, which maybe one or two are spent grabbing free potions at the beginning and getting the arenas where you fight it. Second phase is where you find the most difficulty since it likes to spam those moves with Thunderbolt. Okay, gotcha. So you have a total of 35 minutes, and it spends most of its time trying to minimize your DPS if possible. Great. <laughs> Sounds like a whole lot of fun. Uh, do you have other... dehydrated water tablets? Just out air. I bought a Take few, yeah. For See for yourself. Make a choice. Spacer's choice. He still sounds like he's having an awful time in there. Um Actually that's that's a, a reasonable question. Have you ever been to Edwater? Heard of it. My orientation Aether wave showed that famous Saltuna cannery. Which I'm sure smells as good as it looks. Well, it won't smell for much longer. Don't go looking into it. <laughs> so bad they're struggling, but they've got good hearts. Ah, uh, that's more about the col. Yeah, don't go looking into it. If you did, that'd be good, actually. They could use the help. Mm, I don't know about that. Do, please don't mention us. <laughs> I'd have to go over my contract, but I don't think I'm allowed to leave Groundbreaker or this stall. So do you sleep in there? Or? So everyone loves so. Everyone will love you for using it, too. <laughs> Just don't go dropping it or anything. Uh, I'm good, man. Thanks for the water. <laughs> um, okay, so rest and go. We need to go in there. We need to go in there, the Lost Hope. I guess we could check waste disposal, and then we'll go up to the next floor, because we've basically seen everything before this, except actually we haven't, because Vicar Max's uh, mission is up here. And I didn't do this before. You know what? We'll go do it. Um, we'll go do it on our way out because we're eventually, obviously, gonna get our ship back. So we're not gonna be stuck here till the end game. So you know, that's a thing. So let's check out the rest and go. Ooh, can we rent an upstairs room? I don't know if we're renting, Parvati. I. Hello there. I uh, think we're just looking, to be honest. Okay. So they're like pumping the ventilated air into here through these ducts, I would guess. There's vending machines here, though, so these will be rather nice. By now, now with added quality. That is good. I like added quality. You know what else I like is new gear. Ordnance control and ordnance control. So medium and medium. I don't want these so much for the... Um, I actually looked to see that these were here before I started the stream today, but I don't really want these so much for their uh, skill bonuses as much as I just want them for the added armor. So it's... Uh, I think I'm going to get both. One and two. There's this, which could go on Parvati's gear. Um, I would rather buy the armor to go with it before I buy the helmet. We'll see. Guy sounds so depressed, like more than your character looks. I know, man. He's not having a good time in there, and I feel bad, but I don't think there's anything I can do for him, unfortunately. Um, okay, so we'll have, um, once we equip that armor, we'll have some gear that we can pass down to any new partners, any new companions that we get, so that should help a little bit. Thank you, Vending Machine. You've been very helpful. Let's uh, slot that gear in. And there we go, and there we go. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I, I like that. I kind of like the um, like the half helmet look of the of the helmet too. It's rather cool looking. I like. Yes, indeed, I do like. 
Okay, so we'll hold on to that for a little while. Um, yeah, that stuff is fine for now. We'll pass that down if we find anybody else. What else we got in the vendors here? The vending machines seem to be rather helpful in terms of their stuff. Although this one is less so because all it's got is shock pink uh, armor. And there's nothing wrong with shock pink. I just don't think it's rather all that stealthy, honestly. I mean, I know my stealth skills are going down just having Parvati in her heavy armor anyway, but Jesus. Okay. What else we got? More pistols. Uh, another assault rifle or two. Light pistol. Plasma rifle. Stun baton. Okay, so nothing particularly useful. Backpack, barrel, grip. There's a corrosion mod. Yeah, as you can see, 4,000 bits for that. So that's quite uh, outside of our price range at the moment. But uh, maybe later we'll have access to it. I'm not particularly interested in anything else in here, though, so let's move right along. Put your gun away. Damn it. I should have kept it out because now I'm going to open this door and take it back out again. Oh, boy. Okay, so. Let me see here. Uh, our marker over there, yeah, is for uh, the fan fiction writer dude, so we'll go see him in a few minutes. Lost hope, huh? Bar vendor. Okay. Ah, here we go. Vera Krivenek, huh? Seeking relief from the heat? Till June Lay gets those radiators fixed, I've got the next best thing. A cold one? Um, don't know. I suppose you know a way I could get to Stellar Bay on Monarch? Would she know about that? There's a heat issue that people are complaining about. Am I really that interested in it? Uh, let's see if they heard anything interesting. Only the usual. Marauders all over space. You ever wonder how folk who can't figure the bleeding edge technology of a spoon can manage to get ships into space? <laughs> yeah, that is a good question, isn't it? Um, I guess we'd ask this question. Stellar Bay proper? Mm, tough to say. The board recalled all the nav keys about ten years back when the corpse pulled back to Terra 2. Hmm, okay. Any idea why? It's overrun with beasts, I heard. Big ones. Kinda chew your face off for fun. <laughs> Might all be bored propaganda, though. I guess if we're gonna find out one day. Stellar Bay, you're gonna have to get your hands dirty. The board don't like them that truck with Monarch. Okay, that well... the one you ought to be asking. Try Gladys on the promenade. She'll fix you up. Okay. Good to know. Thank you very much. I think we already had a thing to go talk to Gladys, but uh, either way, you can always hit up your local bartender for some information in these sorts of games, so good to know. Let's see what she's got for Nothing sale. you need and everything you want. Well, okay then. That's uh, one way to put it. Uh, consumables. It's all consumables. Okay. So what do we have here? Lager. Uh, that is slightly different apple cider. And the one that I... Or, no, that's cider. That's why. It's not juice like this. This is juice. So, that's body. That's mind. That's mind. And that's also body. And that's also body. Just seeing what else she's got here. Anything remotely useful? What about this? You can't sell Adreno unless I have something better. All right. Fair enough. Um, I guess I'll buy this and these. Just to have a few of them handy, you know. But you guys know me. I like spending all my money, so... Oh, this is open. Ah, storage room. I don't particularly care that much about that. Where does this go? Chef's place. Okay, so this is probably employees only. Unfortunately, let's go. You two, quit glitching into the door and let's move. Okay, good. They actually are here. I was afraid one of them was going to glitch into or behind the door, so that wouldn't have been good. Uh, this is our last stop on this floor. Waste disposal. Don't suppose there's anything in here we'd want. 
Is that on the oh okay somebody already opened that tin got it pick it pick it and open okay this is open whoa i was wondering what they do with their waste i guess they just chuck it down here where's it all go probably out the airlock if i had to guess all right well i don't think there's that much interesting for us in here so we'll just leave go back in there sprats there's nothing for you out here so Come on, you two. Scooter the Buddha. Let's go. Don't want the rats getting out. There we go. Whoops. Uh, okay, well, are we getting into trouble today? I mean, we're always getting into trouble for our body, let's be honest. We're going, we went to that medical bay, and that almost got us in trouble. Anyway, uh, sublight. I haven't been up on this floor yet, so I'll check it out and see. Uh, recent users, public notices, public notices. Seeking contractors, loitering on board property, strictly prohibited. All right, nothing interesting. Figured I'd check. Salvage and shipping. The pirate ship? I don't go in for docu serials. The bounty hunter who's been out. Oh, neat! They got stuff in here I ain't seen in ages. Contractors. Interesting, to say the least. I sure hope so. Anybody in here with a name that I could talk to that isn't just a generic NPC? Um, are there any quests that I have in here? We gotta find Gladys. Okay, we need to find. There's a science weapon here, apparently. Uh. Talk to Dr. Wanda Dorset in the sick bay. The status of her shipment. I should probably go do that too. That one's not going to happen. This one's about the debts. This is going to Junlei. This is a security terminal. We can go do that in a minute. And this one I don't think we have for a while. So, um, Which one am I really concer more concerned with now? That's Udom. How about we do this one and then we'll go looking for Gladys after this. That. I'm not being directed here. I don't think I want to be here just yet. So we'll worry about that later. Of course, I said that, and we're probably also going to go try to visit. Um, even though we weren't directed there, we're probably still going to go try to visit the uh, the good Dr. Phineas Wells' lab. So, you know, before we're done. Hello there. Can't say I've seen you before. I take it you're a freighter, Captain? Oh, well, something like that. I'm if a captain of something. Yourself, you'll have to wait. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. Yeah, I heard, actually. I was, uh... Told me to tell you to get off his ass about your shipment. Um... Yeah, let's not... Let's not be mean about it. Let's just say this. He must be referring to Erion. I'm sure the fool's gotten himself into another scrape. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm ever gonna get my service mechanicals at this rate. Uh, who is this Irian guy? Our delivery man. Oh. A brave idiot with a penchant for getting himself delayed. Sometimes by dates, usually by bandits. Oh, boy. Uh, what do you need these mechanicals for? Surgery, mostly. Medical personnel are difficult to come by on Groundbreaker. Ah, well, that makes sense. Um, I would assume it's because it's hard to find good help on a place that's neutral like this, because in order to find good help, you usually have to be in with a company of some kind. I guess I could try to find him. I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla, an asteroid in the Charybdis cluster. That's where I'd start, were I the adventuring type. Hmm, okay. You look out, though. The place is probably crawling with outlaws. Sounds like my kind of place. Hi, Ellie. I'll be back. <laughs> Just had to take care of a couple of things. Okay, so that's that now. That's in Scylla. It gives us a reason to go to Scylla now, at least. Um, does this point me to... It does point me to something. Can I see it on my map? Points me over there. Over there. It won't let me go there, but over there. <laughs> That's what I mean. So in here? This is on 
Hi there, Spacer. Oh, Gladys. Okay, so this is where Gladys is. Okay. So I have to talk to her anyway about this. I could probably go back to Edgewater as well at some point because the um, the shop that we have there with the botanical lab has probably uh, got a pretty good discount for any interesting stuff I want to get. I don't know um, how long it's going to be before we... Like, it, rather, if they update their inventory at all, but uh, I don't know. We'll figure that out later. Gladys, you're just the woman I was told to see. Bless my heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. Hello. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Made without a single natural ingredient or an oven. Just like store-bought. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Usually you'd want to make them with natural ingredients. Then again, while I was exploring around earlier, I did hear an announcement about a toss ball tournament being delayed because none of the players were duping or using drugs of any kind. And they said that that's the first time it's happened in a number of years and the league is unsure of what to do with it. I guess that's good social commentary they got there. Uh, Phineas sent me, you told me you could sell me a navkey to Stellar Bay. Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Uh-huh. So but what do we for do? For us, Groundbreaker's a free port. We're outside of the board's control. For the time being, at least. Well, that's fair enough. I Should only work have in our favor. one nav key. And they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking in the bids... I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, 10,000 bits. Yeah, that is a biddle. A little bit... Uh, a biddle? Yeah, a little bit uh, on the expensive side. Chance of a discount. No one's ever... Oh, my God. Stop! <laughs> uh, what's the opportunity? Well, I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little... moral flexibility. Might be this could help out the groundbreaker, as well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms... I mean, I'm morally flexible. Yeah, What's what are the details? Do you know Edna over in engineering? Nope. Sweet as a pea, that one. On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. Huh. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway. And Auntie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. Okay. Uh, what's the reason why it was abandoned? Does something happen? Can't say I know for sure. Maybe it never really was. Hmm. Sounds like someone poking into somewhere they shouldn't be got into a spot of trouble. <laughs> Could be. Call centers don't operate themselves, Captain. Someone had to have sent that distress call manually. Okay, so it's probably not an automated it's message, then. Than all get out. Might have been a ruse to keep the rest of the board from sniffing around. Hmm, Okay. So perhaps we know it's not automated because Parvati just said no, they have to be sent manually. So all right, I'll give it a shot. You've got an ear for intrigue and a nose for bits. I like that. Here's a copy of the SOS recording complete with the coordinates. Sweet. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. And we do like top the bit. We got the corpse fighting each other. The less time they got to meddle in our affairs. All right, fair enough. Sounds like we uh, should have a decent uh, transactional relationship here, Gladys. I'm liking it already. I have been in Outpost Corporate Secrets. Yep, got it. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. Will do. Uh, do you know any other jobs you need doing? Might want to acquaint yourself with Junlei Tennyson, Groundbreaker's Chief. She's been trying to get a handle on this heat problem we've got. Hmm. You'll find her fretting in engineering. I'd say she's a sweet girl, but law for fen someone call me a liar. Oh my god. Um, the opportunity, we've already done that. You have stuff for sale, Gladys? I've got a lovely little throw pillow. Just something I toss together. Like to keep my hands busy. Yeah, fair enough. What else you got? <laughs> oh, I've leveled up. We'll do that in a minute. Uh, sawed off shotgun, revolver, LMG. Salvager's helper. Fires a hailstorm. Corros oh, corrosive bullets, really? 
Uh, that's interesting. It's very expensive. Very expensive. So we probably won't be buying it, but that is a very interesting gun you got there. Geographic scanner, mag 2 zap. I already got one of those. Grounded chrono field. Some near tactical time dilation when you deal critical hit. Effect has a cooldown now. Oh, okay, gotcha. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, do I want any more mag picks? Not particularly. What are these? Battered Martet data pad. An old data pad once used by the Groundbreakers Martet security forces from the accumulated dust and grime. This hasn't been used for access for over a decade. Uh, okay. I mean, it might come in handy. Then we can get more bits on our hands if we uh, find something interesting out of it. Sure. The old data pad contains incident reports from various Martet security patrols. Most are details of simple finds and dust ups between the crews of Wildcat freighters and corporate haulers. Two entries have been marked for later review. August 7th, 2344, responded to a code ID 10T at the last hope, or lost hope. Vera asked us to bounce some back bay rat that got himself soaked in spectrum red. Drunken fool got into a scuffle with one of the engineer Tennyson's people. We tossed the rung leech back down to the bays. Asshole fought us the entire way, telling us we'd be sorry once he controlled the hammer's power. Okay. If this is some new Hammersmith marketing stunt, I'm complaining to Sunita. <laughs> October 25th, 2344. Had another run-in with the rung leech from the Lost Hope. Don't know how the uppity pike of Hilker crawled out of the back bays without us noticing. Locked himself into the repair bay off docking slip 13 and refused to come out. Kept raving about the weapon's chaotic beauty or some shit while they were trying to talk him out. Had to break off when our shift ended. Hull heads gotta come out eventually. Yeah, I hope so. Okay, well that's interesting. Something about a hammer. I do like the idea of getting Parvati a new hammer. Um, Hephaestus Mining, public records of Hephaestus Mining's outpost on Scylla can be viewed using the cabin's terminal. Didn't we have a thing on Scylla? So that might be useful to us as well. Let's see. Oh, that one doesn't have a note. Okay, that's fine. Thank you, Gladys. I appreciate the help. Do you still have a... You still have a quest? Hold on. Oh, I, I can access skills. I'll do that in a minute. Oops, wrong way. There we go. Uh, let's see, we've talked to you about this, we need to purchase, oh, that's what that is, I need to purchase the nav key, okay, that's fine, um, and we need to get our ship undone, so, oh, review the Hephaestus Mining Archive on Hawthorne's Terminal, so we need to go back to the ship to do that, alright, uh, that's that, for a distress signal, Scylla, that's back in the thing, Clear Jesse's debts. That's our next thing. Or maybe this is our next thing. Well, you know what? This is our next thing. Let's go talk to Udam so we can actually get our ship cleared for takeoff first. Then we'll be good to go. Um, I should use my level ups here. I may actually be changing up how I do my level ups just a little bit here as well. I've uh, come up with a little bit of a different idea. Uh, for how I'm going to level, because here's the thing about long guns, it does increase your crit chance and decrease your sway, but, sorry, had to take a drink, but it does not increase the passive damage of the weapon. Now, what does increase the passive damage of the weapon in the case of what I have right now is my science stat. Now, the science stat will, as you can see there, increase plasma damage, shock damage, and later on in the game, it will also increase corrosion and n-ray damage. I don't know if we'll be making use of N-rays, but um, corrosion damage is definitely something I've got an eye on. So we will probably want to pump our science stat just a little bit more um, for that. The uh, dialogue options here as well, they're not as important as I was thinking they might be um, to level up. I will still be leveling them up somewhat, but uh, in reality, the thing about it is that your companions, when they're in your party, they give you some of their stats um, as a part of, like, you see the 34 that's over there, that's partially from my uh, background, but some but some of that, 7 of it, is from Parvati, because she has a, a skill in persuasion. Um, if we go over here, I think? Yeah, so she's, uh, she's got uh, 26 persuade there. So she'll add um, 26, uh, or not 26, she'll add Persuade to my total. She adds 25% of her total, rounding up, I think, to my total. So if we go down to my Persuade, she's added 7 to it. 
Um, and that adds in terms of your speech checks as well. So just, just relying on um, her and other companions, because all companions are good in at least one dialogue type, um, relying on them to add to my total will actually be probably better for us. So I'll probably raise this till Persuade and Liar at 50 and then just leave it. Um, long guns also probably won't get as much um, attention. I would like to get Hack up to 40 so I can access restricted items from vending machines so we can buy their very expensive stock because uh, the Hack points that I have do not give me access to restricted items. It, it, the 50 in parentheses does not give you access to the base skills. You need to have your base skill, which in this case is 27, up to 40 to unlock that. So we, uh, we will work on that as well. And yeah, just, just boosting tech and leadership primarily, I think, from here on out. We'll boost dialogue and ranged a little bit. Like, let me see. What if I do like two, two, and then like three and three? Or should I do this to get hack up to the point where I can access restricted items first? Like maybe do... Uh, like seven of this. I might actually just do six of this for this level and then do seven at the next level to get hacked to 40. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. And then we can... Uh, next level we'll raise that so hack is 40 and we'll put some points into ranged. And then I'll start boosting uh, tech and leadership up until they get to that point. I want to get inspiration and determination to 60 um, in the long term because both of them have good skills at 60. Um, inspiration at 60 doubles the bonus you get from your partners, so they give you 50% of their stat instead of 25%. And then 60 in adept makes them get 55% of the inhaler when I use it, so that's probably going to be pretty good. And then we'll just boost up science and boost up, uh, you know, long guns. We, 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 we probably won't touch melee at all this playthrough. I'll leave that to my companions. And then um, boost dialogue a little bit. So next level, we're going to do seven of this and three in this. And then the level after that, we'll do like, I don't know, like five and five until these get to 50. And then we'll go from there, I think. Okay. Sounds like a plan to me. Uh, do we have anything else to do? Oh, I didn't apply these. Hold on. There we go. Now we're good. Um, that's going to be on up and up until I read the codex, which I might do off screen, but... Oh, hello. But probably not uh, anytime soon. So that's Gladys. It'll mark her out. I have to go that way to talk to Jinlei, I would assume. And that is Udam over there, or Udam, whatever his name is. Ah, excuse me. I'm getting sleepy because the only uh, the only meat that we have in the fridge for leftovers that I can eat for lunch now is turkey. Although I found out uh, recently that turkey actually doesn't have any more um, tryptophan in it than any other, like, whatever poultry you eat. So, like, if you eat chicken, it has the same amount of tryptophan in it as turkey. So I don't know why turkey makes you so sleepy. It's a good question. Um, probably my next perk is going to be on vendor prices and then uh, probably the recharge rate. Um, turns out there aren't too many good Tier 1 perks that I'm actually interested in, so those will probably be the ones I'll, I'll look into. So that's how that's going to go. Uh, Udam's up here. Go back to Byzantium, you gold-plated bastards. Yeah, hmm. no one wants you on Groundbreaker. These stairs are board property. Disperse now, or I'll detain you for trespassing. I mean, they're not even oh, on the stairs, are they? You're really gonna arrest us on our station? Yeah, this is Chief June Lee's ship. You don't own shit here. <laughs> Step back. I'm required by board bylaws to use excessive force. Wait, required? Our debts would space you for trying, you, you waste of O2 scrubbers. Man. Yeah, O2 scrubbers. Look, just get out of here before I tell your captain what you've been getting up to on the clock. Ah, whatever. We got a date at the Lost Hope anyway. <laughs> Is this really what you want to be doing with your life, Marcy? 
regarding stairs to that blocky mustache food on fucking Bedford? <laughs> Oh my god, that's funny. Oh, these people are hilarious! Okay, engineering's over there. Let's go speak to Udam first. Put the gun down. <laughs> I'm just gonna hang in the back and try not to touch anything. It's probably for the best. You think the board and its agents would be more content sitting at the top of the system's food chain as they are. Yeah, but nobody would be content with that, Vicar. You know how that goes. <laughs> Ham and cheese is the way to go for a sandwich. I can't say I eat ham, to be honest with you there, Ghost Hand, but it sounds like it'd be good. And hello, Ghost Hand, how you doing? Alright, walking mustache guy, hello. Ah, yes. Wheeler messaged me you were coming. He must be the captain of the Unreliable. That's me. that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. How would you know? Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? Yeah, I was gonna say, how would you know in when I'm sitting in here in this helmet? Maybe this isn't Alex's normal thing. I'm gonna wring your scar neck, you spread. Fuck, give me back my ship. <laughs> well, we're not here to turn in Phineas, so I guess since you know, then I guess I can answer properly. Oh no, this is terrible, my dear friend. What devilry is this? In whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? Uh, yeah, I guess I'm sorry for your loss. I didn't know you were so close to the guy. Oh, Alex. There were so many arguments we'd yet to have. I get the feeling you're not that close with him. What, what was your relationship with him? He was my dearest friend. My only friend. Yeah, huh. You have his ship, you must know. That picture of us on the promenade, me hugging him, him wincing. I keep a copy beside my bed. Did he? Uh, <laughs> sure. Oh, that's just like him. Such a sentimental man. Tell me, how did he die? <laughs> you you don't want to know. Escape pod accident, you don't want to know the details. Uh, I'm just going to keep lying. Fuck this. No. How dreadful. That was always Alex's greatest fear, you know. Devoured by those fiends, becoming one with their, their droppings. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's an interesting fear to have. Uh, yeah, let's get back to the topic at hand, please. Right, right. You are going important places, I'm sure. Big, exciting, important places. Not the cloud district, there. though. I've removed the flag from your ship. Oh, sweet. I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, however, before you go. Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. Oh. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. I have. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? Hmm. Well, I want to say this. Um, but I also want to say this. I think it'd be better to say this first and then see if this option is still important. So, or available even. So. That's uh, Well, that's just terrible news. Oh, what am I going to do now? The board will have my head. Well, I mean, and you sound like you're pretty okay at talking through this, this stuff, is so. Terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else I might help you with? Uh, let's see. Jesse Doyle want her debt settled. I do want her debt settled. So the board's gonna have your head. It's personal business, I'm afraid. Uh, miserably, terribly personal. Okay, well, um, stop playing Coy Bedford. I mean, if you don't want to tell me, man, that's that's fine. I hope you don't take my reticence the wrong way. I shouldn't have said anything. Now, how might I assist you? Hey, Adam, how's it going? Uh, I know where to find Phineas Wells. I do, but I'm not telling you. Uh, Jesse, yeah, let's talk about Jesse Doyle. Miss Doyle owes the board a significant sum. Alas, the only collateral she has is her organs. Oh. Compulsory donation is quite legal in such cases. Okay, so what can we do? Paid off for her. She's worth more alive than dead. Put her under an indenture contract. Would she want that? I don't know if she would want that, but I guess that would settle her debt, wouldn't it? Okay, well. That's not unreasonable. I guess it's better than losing your organs, but I don't know, Captain. 
just doesn't seem right. Hmm. Miss Doyle is deeply in debt, and the board has every right to do whatever they like to recoup that debt. What guarantee do I have that she'll agree to the terms you negotiate? <laughs> well, I kind of have some dirt on her, so... She doesn't show up for a killer like you planned. The way I see it, she doesn't have much choice. I mean, I guess it's... Should we tell him about the assassins? Probably not. Let's just let's just play it up with his whole. Oh, the board says what the board says is absolute. That sort of thing. Let's just play it up like that. I quite concur. It's refreshing to deal with someone practical for a change. Hmm. I will recall my collection agent. Tell Miss Doyle. Okay, I have reputation with the board now. Good. Assignment. Now, is there anything else you need, or can I return to my work? I think I'm good now. Yeah, I think I'm good now. Thank you for all the help. I say help in somewhat quotation marks because I may not have just gotten help in that last section there. <laughs> Busy can't exactly type at the moment. Okay. Sounds good, Adam. Then I will appreciate you just listening in. You keep doing your busy stuff. That's fine. I can't I can't see the wanted poster if you're if you're always looking at me. Bounty drone. Slow down. There. Saw it now. Auntie's kitchen. Hello there. Auntie greeting, potential customer. Welcome to Auntie's kitchen, a home style consumable protein dispensary. Made I think that's the same synth voice that um, the uh, the Protectron in Fallout 4 has, the one that serves the uh, the the ramen noodles. <laughs> Uh, I don't need to ask a question. I'll just let's see what he's got. Oops, me. Ah, damn! I got a million of those. Uh, tobacco horn ears. Okay, that's meat. Tobacco horn is meat. Okay, whatever. Pipe patch. That's something I can get addicted to, and that's ketchup. Also meat, apparently. Okay. That's, I'd, I'd question both of those, but you know what? I don't need either one, so we're we're good. Uh, Groundbreaker Promenade, so that's this, it looks like. I don't know what's up there. I guess we could check it out in a minute or two. Ike's Armory, okay. Hi. You look like someone who's taken their share of cuts and bruises. Eh, a few. Some armor. Maybe it's a bit secondhand, but that's only testament to its durability. Well, it depends. Can you get me something better than the vending machines? For those times you have to repel borders, but don't want to risk a bullet through the hull. Hmm. Okay, let's see what you got. Let me see. Sentry Saber Plasma Cutter. Ooh. Sounds interesting. Uh, security Blade. Trip Blade. Is that an axe? Tremor Cleaver. Great. Officer's spine. Ooh, that's got corrosive damage on it and bleed. Interesting. Telescoping staff, security blade. He said he has armor too. Elite troop armor. Ooh. See, now that could be rather nice. Uh, that's what I just got from the thing, so that's fine. Mixed use outfit. Range weapon skills plus five. It's clothing though, so we can't really do much with that. Um, is this, this is a little better than the other stuff, right? Let's see. Dodge plus five, stealth skills minus five. So it's a, it's a different look. Block and minus and stealth skills. Okay. It's a different look and slightly different level. Got it. Uh, mixed use outfit, mining helmets, optic goggles, and enclosed padded helm. Looks like a, a catcher's helmet, actually, a little bit. Or maybe it is a toss... I mean, it could be a toss ball helmet, I guess. That would be interesting. Hmm. Full coverage for moderate protection. Okay, well, I'll keep that in mind in case I come across anybody that needs it. Speed grip, sure grip. Electrocharge... Wow, that's an expensive mod. Stuns and damages melee attackers. Oh, it has a cooldown. Okay, gotcha. This travel while dodging, that's pretty good. That changes it into N ray. Okay. Very interesting. Can't say I'm going to use many of those, but at least I know the options here. Spratwurst Fender? Do I even want to know? If you're hungry, you've come to the right place. I've got a fresh ground batch of Spratwurst cooking. 
They're terrified to lock in the juices. How about a grinder's dozen? Boy, that sounds appetizing, doesn't it? A grinder's dozen? I think I have a feeling I know what Spratwurst is. Fresh from the grinder, any hour. I don't know if I want it. Meat. Well, she has dehydrated water tablets, so at least I know I can get these from her if I need them. All right, well, thank you. I can't say I'll be shopping there again. Uh, we went there already. I think that's it. Other than engineering, I think we're done. Cool. So, let me see here. Journal. We've got to... So that's the nav key. We don't need to do that right now. We do need to... Apparently, we need to acquire this... Uh, a science weapon on the groundbreaker somewhere. Okay, well, we'll think about that in a minute. Uh, those are all whatever. These, we gotta go talk to Ellie again, but first we need to go talk to Junlei and find a security terminal. Oh, that's the thing back at the beginning of the place. Okay. So I guess we gotta talk to Junlei, because she might have a thing for some more jobs, like this heat thing that they got going on in here, apparently. I don't know. At this point, I think I'd be okay with getting a little bit of heat, but then again, that's because of where I am. I'm, I'm in a rather cold area of the world right now. Ooh, it's sizzling in here. Look at the air. Gross. I actually even hurt if I walk past it. Oh, no, never mind. Hello's XF 411s? And an old Yakita 37? You think they'd let me peek at the power plant? Uh, you'd have to ask Jinlei that one, honestly. And speaking of which... I thought there'd be more machinery. Must be housed on a sublevel. Could be. Spent all day in here and not have looked at half the best stuff. It's all pretty worn though. I mean that just sort of happens with years of wear and tear. It is really hot in here. Like, look at the air. How do you stand it in here? June Lee Tennyson. Hi. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. Yeah, thank you. I'm glad that you uh, want to, you know, <laughs> introduce yourself so formally. Uh, I am the captain of the unreliable. Good for you. Hope you scared some sense into those bureaucrats giving you trouble. Oh, tried. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Martins, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. No, ma'am. I'm gonna have to end some. Copy that, chief. <laughs> I don't know if the salute will come across as sarcastic. Um, we'll just say this first one. We want to we want to stay in good with these uh, with the people of the Groundbreaker, I think, since they are our shopping central. Good. Don't go making trouble, and chances are you won't find any. That's how I like it here. Eh, fair enough. So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten the answer is just passing through. Uh, <laughs> just passing through. I can safely say I'm headed for Monarch. Am I headed for Monarch just now? I don't really. Know. I guess I could tell you. I mean, eventually we are going to head for Monarch, but right now I really don't have a specific uh, end goal in terms of where I'm going, but I guess Monarch's our only current lead. Interesting. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. I sure hope so, because we we're not going to get out of there if we don't have the right weapons. Going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprouts. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different. So welcome aboard. Thank you. Um, having a heat problem. It's like being commander around here. Don't have a lot of faith in the board. Let's let's uh, let's chat her up a little before we talk about the heat. Excuse me. And then we'll have Farvati introduce herself. So yeah, what's it like being commander around here? Frustrating. Everything down to the circuit boards is past warranty. So I have the pleasure of making life or death decisions on a shoestring budget. Great. Plus, there's no time to train my successor or document fixes in a way that anyone outside the family would understand. Uh-huh. Well, I mean, you said that you've, uh... You've talked about, uh... All the people here being a family. Is it actually a family-owned, or...? Sure is. The Tennysons came over on the groundbreak. Oh. My grandmother, Chief Gain, kept it together during the crossing and until she died. Really? Hmm. I was promoted only recently. When my mom died. Oh. Then I took the leap from chief engineer to captain. Sorry to hear that, but uh amazing people to have taught you all you know, I mean. Which is a lot. <laughs> that means a lot coming from a fellow engineer. So uh 
Yeah, I guess I could give my condolences then. Probably were, yeah, some big shoes to fill. It. There wasn't much that took me by surprise about the job, but the little things you never expect or think about, they add up over time. Yeah, I can imagine. Maybe you can see why I'm protective of Groundbreaker. This ship is family. It's got tinkerings and bypasses that only Tennyson's know about. Right. Fair enough. Uh, can always help shoulder the burden. Where's the self-destruct mechanism? Oh my god. We're going to be training a successor. I think we can understand why, though, because if her, you know, if her folks died and if there's issues with the board, it uh, could always lead to her getting killed early. So I guess we could talk about this. Oh gosh, I don't know. I'm really just a, a dab hand with a wrench. Nothing special. Not like a chief engineer. Don't sell yourself short. It doesn't take a seasoned pro to tinker on Groundbreaker. Just someone who knows how a ship ought to feel. We're always thirsting for help. If you can find your way around this labyrinth of ducts and panels, we could work something out. Well, there you go. So I guess Parvati will have something to do when we're all done. Uh, back to the other questions. You've got my attention. Okay. So... Uh, don't have a lot of faith in the board. Yeah, I guess that's a fair question now. Well, statement. You're right, I don't. The board is after two things, bits and power, and they only get it by sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. Uh-huh. So you're not a fan of Udam then, huh? I like to think of myself as a nice person, but if that gaudy embassy of his was on fire, I might hold my breath a moment before activating the sprinkler system. <laughs> the board wants control over Groundbreaker, and leeches like Udam Bedford will do anything to please their corporate masters. Yeah, I know how that goes. They're, uh, they're definitely an interesting folk, and uh, interesting, I mean, it's most of the time annoying. Uh, how do you keep the board a safe... T That's actually a good question, because I'll probably need to do that myself. I placate them when I have something to offer, but I can also be a real hard-ass. Hmm. It'd be a joy if I could kick out the corporate merchants and reclaim the docking fees in my lifetime. Too much of Groundbreaker's income is flowing in the wrong direction. I'd like to see that change. Well, I may be able to help you with that at some point. We'll see. You've got my attention. Uh, so you have a heat problem. I can see it in the air. What's going on? Groundbreaker's radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. Uh-oh. Uh, so what's the problem then? What's the what? What needs to be brought here to be fixed, really? Because I know that's where we're going. Only the board has access to new parts, and I won't let them swindle me into a corner. Uh-huh. So. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't think they'd want the Groundbreaker to roast, although we know that the board is after bits and power, so they might just do that. So there's no room for you to compromise with them? None. Every time I give in to the board, Groundbreaker loses its freedom. Soon there won't be anything left. I can't allow that. Yeah, well, that's fair. The board isn't helping, and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone on board, will be cooked alive. Even the board members? That wouldn't be good. Yeah, contractor work is not available for a reasonable rate. I do have the intelligence to say that. Sure, let's do it. Reasonable, huh? That's the best news I've heard all day. Let's see what reasonable is. Old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back base. Okay. Uh, where exactly are the back bays? Sorry, I forgot. Not everyone knows this ship like I do. No, that's fine. The back bays are on a lower deck, long abandoned, and a haven for miscreants now. I think we saw something about the back bays, actually, um, when we uh, when we were looking at that one data pad, so. Those parts anywhere else? Tried sending anyone else down there to get those parts. So they're, they're not available anywhere, right? You must not have been here long. In Halcyon, new parts come by way of interstellar freighters from Earth. And the board monopolizes that kind of trade. Mm, makes sense. That means I'd have to negotiate with the board. I've already given them the shops, the docking fees, and a damn embassy. And we can't uh, go ahead and do anything else with that. Um, until we take care of the board eventually later. I would imagine that's the sort of direction we're moving in. But yeah, they, they, are, they do sound like they're trying to take off over all of your bureaucracy here. Damn right. And while I'm captain of the Groundbreaker, it falls to me to preserve this ship's independence. Well, then let's see what we can do to get those parts for you. Good. Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. Cool. Okay, so get the parts, and she can go from there. Actually, I have a question for you first. Sorry about the heat. 
Here, drink up. No oh. excuse for dehydration on my watch. Okay, thanks. I didn't expect that, but thank you. I'll take those. I've been. I'm gonna be using those. So, uh, Pravati, you want to talk to Junlei? Go for it. What? I didn't think you just. Yeah. Uh, hey. Pravati, whatever. That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking. I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. I Junlei. think I see where this is going. No need to be so formal. Yeah, just don't worry about it, Parvati. Just she's she said it's all right. Say first name, so don't be so formal. Habit, it's fine. Go uh, for it. Okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if, well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe. I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Anything you say, huh? <laughs> if you need to compare notes in but oh all right i think i know where yeah i definitely know where this is going now right in person Sh sure thing captain <laughs> wow great I i'll do that then messages later oh your your name's pretty too i should have said sorry i like it honest sorry <laughs> Yeah, good, good job, good job. You, you stepped outside your comfort zone, so. Couldn't have done it without your moral support, Captain. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, if there's nothing else, there are other parts of the ship begging for my attention. Yeah, I like the back bays, so I'll go take care of that. Thank you. Okay, well, you got what you wanted. <laughs> oh, these are stealable. Let's not let's not look into that. I was gonna be like, oh, that that locker's open, but it's not that open. <laughs> Okay, so oh, it's it's even hot out here now too. Oh my god, it's not good. Um, let's see. Return to the unreliable and ask Parvati about Junlei. Talk to Ellie. Security panel. As it's deeper, we don't need that right now. Happiness is a warm spaceship. I think these people would question that. Get new parts. Okay, so where do we get new parts? She said the back bays. Did it point me here for a particular reason? Oh, okay. Uh huh. Did she say how to get to the back bays? I was not paying that much attention, honestly. Let me go ask her again. Sorry. Sorry, I should have been paying more attention. How'd I get there? What can I do for you, Captain? Captain, I need to know how to get to... Oh, maybe you don't have an, a marker for me. I don't have a marker. Oh, I do have a marker. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> Salvage parts. Okay. Is that... Oh, it's it's in here. Okay. Cool. Transition to back base. Uh, we're going to be in a combat situation, I think, so we may want to swap for some armor. Let's go do that. You know what? Before I do this, there's a couple of other things I want to do first. Let's uh, let's go talk to Ellie and then see if we can do uh, the Vickers thing back at the security panel. The, last, the, leaks. But only near it. It's not quite a complete breakfast by itself. Uh, let's see. This is not where Ellie is. Let's go back. It's over here. Here we go. Wish I could say it was good to see you, Ellie. At least you finally got your chance to square our debt. That ought to make you smile for once, huh? Nothing makes me happier than being even. <laughs> Except being right. That's nice, too. Well, let's see what uh, Jesse and Ellie have to say about the way I settled things. The good news came through the wireless. Looks like you paid my debt to Jesse. I guess that means I owe you now, right? I mean... Tell you what, I'm a little short on bits at the moment, but I'm a decent scrapper and a better-than-average sawbones. Are you? If you're looking for a medic, I can work my debt off. Hmm, well, that's an option. <laughs> you really don't like owing people, do you? Same word for me just because I helped Jesse. 
Both are good questions. Um, I think I'd rather go with this one. It's like people touching a cookie and leaving it in the box. It's just one of those things that gets under my skin. Yeah, fair enough. So, and actually I can ask both questions. So you'll just work for me just because I helped her, huh? If I'm being honest, and I prefer not to, I was about ready to pick up another contract anyway, and you settled this in a pretty tidy fashion, which tells me you're competent. I don't know about competent, well, but... I'm repaying the favor if you prefer that version. All right, fair enough. What did she do for you anyway? Is that really any of my business? Not particularly. I was just going to say, it's less that I'm competent and more that I just sort of, uh... And more that I just sort of know what to say to certain people to get them to do what I want. All right, you're, you're coming aboard, Ellie. Welcome aboard. You won't be sorry. Though it looks like you've got a full roster already. Time to play favorites, Captain. Yeah, I guess so. Um, why don't you meet me on my ship? We'll, we'll, we'll get acquainted once I'm done with my business here. Traveling in style, are we? I'll be sure to nab a cabin with a view. Yeah, make sure you do that, because they'll close up down. quick. We're real happy to have you. We've leveled up again! Man, we're leveling up like crazy in here. But we now have a new party member, Ellie. Nice. I had a feeling she was going to join up. Uh, so, back bays, and then we leave? Well, we got we got the Vickers thing to do as well, so... Oh, I can do this now as well. Let me see. What did I say I was going to do this level? I think I said I was going to do this seven. Yeah, so we can get hack up to the point where I can get restricted items in vending machines. I may not be able to use that um, for a while, like to get some of the good stuff, but uh, it should come in handy nonetheless, just being able to look at their stuff and being like, okay, I could spend it on this if I want to. And we'll put three here. So now after this, I want to do mostly tech and leadership until they get a little further up. Um, dialogue, I think I want a little bit of as well. We need 20 points in dialogue and however many points we want to get in range. It doesn't really matter at this point particularly. Uh, but I want to get my, my Persuade and Lie up to 50 basically before I'm done. So that maybe like two points per level for dialogue and then like four, four, I don't know. Or maybe we'll do three and three, two and two for a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. You got to the third phase in the behemoth fight with five minutes to spare? Really? Okay. Huh. I didn't realize there was a third phase, though. Holy crap. <laughs> that could be a bit of a problem. So what's the third phase like? If the second phase is all spamming tornadoes and meteors and shit, what's the third phase like? Holy crap, man. It's got to be crazy. And we said we were going to get vendor prices, I think. Yeah, yeah, we'll get vendor prices. Since I got the vendor thing after uh, in my uh, hack skills, I might as well get this. Cool. So now the next one we'll get will just probably be the time dilation recharge, and then we'll go from there. Um, so we need new parts. Apparently there's a science weapon somewhere on the Groundbreaker as well. Don't know where that's all about. Uh, and we need to do this as well. So let's go do that first before we go anywhere else. I actually know where this one is now, so we're gonna, um, we should be a little bit better off to get that than we were before. It's actually in here, and I was saying before, so the terminal's in there, and we have restricted access here, but I think... No, I do not. I didn't hear what their exchange was. You're supposed to say yes and go on to explain why. I just want to have a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> of oh. course you do. You guys are crazy. All right, I think we can get in here now. Yep, with the cloak. Cool. So while they're unaware, let's just have a casual walk through here. Where is this terminal, anyway? Oh, wait, hang on. Dang, that's impressive. Oh. Okay. It says it's right here. Oh, I see. Okay, hold on. Back out. So we'll wait a second. I don't know if that has a recharge time on it. Let's just see. Nope. Okay, cool. So we need to go in here then. 
I don't know if he's watching, but I'm picking. Great work. There it is. Just yank the drive, and I'll do the rest. Okay. Uh, eject dr docking records data cartridge. That's what I want. Confiscated goods, security logs. Do they have any confiscated goods? I'd like to know, actually. Modified pistol, hatchet, metal hoop, prayer beads, locked container, owner refused inspection. He fled because we could, before we get down to it, left things behind. They're stored in the back of the security station until the idiot shows his face again, which is likely to be never. Oh, they detained a freelancer. Okay. I think I might have actually picked that stuff up. It was now that we have the empty. Data cartridge, I can finally find out where that scholar I'm looking for ended up. Well, good. I'm glad. Okay. So that takes care of business there. That was a lot less sketchy this time than it was previously. Uh, it was pretty sketchy the first time I did it. And actually, thinking about it, so that we gotta go to the back bays and stuff, uh, this is, is this just talk to him about, I'll give the data cartridge to him. Okay, here you go. Got it. His name is Reginald Cheney, and he joined a sublight salvage crew. Only he's not listed on the return manifest. Must have made landfall somewhere he wasn't supposed to. Oh. Oh, yes. Here. There's a domicile on Monarch in Fallbrook. Rented to the same bit cart he used to buy his seat on the salvage ship. Shouldn't he have used a different bit cart? What better place to lay low if you wish to avoid the authorities? Yeah, I guess Monarch would be a good place considering it's apparently crawling with monsters. You did hesitate there, Vicar. Behemoth that use an AoE that goes in a straight line begins to attack in close range more than the previous phase and no longer spams meteors often but can still use it. Doesn't have Thunderbolt or Tornado at that point. Oh, okay. So it sounds like what you want to do then is you want to get through the first phase like you normally do. You want to try to get through the second phase as quickly as you can so you can get to the third phase where it's just a matter of him doing his AoE attacks and everything like that and the close range stuff. But if he's in close range, you can hit him more. So it sounds like whatever you're going to do in terms of your armor specs and everything like that, you want to make it so that it makes the second phase as easy as possible. Uh, but you did hesitate there, Vicar. What's that about? Oh, it's nothing. I suppose I really didn't have much faith in actually finding him. It was a bit of a long shot, wasn't it? It was, but I don't know if you're telling me the truth. This does seem rather convenient. I admit it was a bit of a long shot, but when you've spent as many hours as I have in contemplation of the universe's secrets, you sometimes get a sense for these things. Hmm. Well, fair enough. All right, let's get going, then. So that takes care of that now. Let's see. Still dangerous, but it's a lot more manageable in the second phase. Yeah, for sure. It sounds like it. So, here's the weird thing. I was looking around in here, right? And I realized, I noticed. You see that? Like, look, if I just do this. All right, well, somebody's hiding five bits up here, but that's not the part I'm looking for. This is the part I'm looking for. And I was like, what the hell is this supposed to be? Apparently there's people back here, though, so I guess i got to be a little more careful. Hold on. Uh, let me... I guess we're going to suit up, since there's apparently people back there. Nope, that's not going to work. Alright, let's get suited up, then. We're going to need our, our gear anyway, since we're going to be going downstairs in a few moments. Uh, let me see here. So you have the elite troop armor. And the Vicar has, what does he have? Just a standard armor? I think so. Or did I have him, want to have him in this? This is right, control armor. This is medium. This just gives tech skills. He actually looks pretty okay with it like that. Just with his helmet off. I'm going to put helmets back on though, now that we're in our battle gear, because Parvati... Vadi needs it in order to look like Doom Girl, so check. And let's make a save. Hey, Adam, welcome back. Um, this one. Second phase needs to be finished quickly to get there. Problem with most armor pieces and monster hunters, there's not as many pieces with multiple elemental resistances, good defenses, and good skills. Ah, okay, gotcha. So that could cause some problems, that's for sure. All right, let's go see what the hell's up here. Then we'll go to the. Oops. Then we'll go to the uh, other thing. I might be able to get that if I crouch. Over here. Ah, just weapon parts. Okay, nothing. Nothing that good. 
Okay, so... Let's see what we got here. I don't know what or who is back here. That's what I want to know. Uh, let's see. Outlaw squad leader, huh? About to be outlaw dead. Uh, that a, no, that's that's the vicar. Hang on. There you go. All right, what in the world is that supposed to be? Whoa! Scrap mechanical. Well, mechanical. Well, good thing I have shock damage on this now. Nice. Sorry for the stray bullets there. I didn't realize who was who, but we're good now. I think. Let's see what they had in stock. Some bit cartridges, white blade ammo, work gear, farm friendly. Now, can I put these in junk directly from here? Doesn't look like it. Okay, well, I'm not going to use it, so. I'll take that, 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 and close... Oh, that's the padded helmet that I was looking into before. Okay, let's grab that, too. And there's the workbench, if I need it. I need a lot of lockpicking to get in there. Here's a barred door. I wonder where this goes to. Well, let's, let's just leave that alone for now. Let's look around in here first. And what did you have on you, sir? A coolant tank? That's probably junk. Energy canister, armor parts. I'll take the armor parts. Those are nice. Always nice to have repairable gear stuff. I don't think I can get up there. Not easily, anyway. Good, good. debating what armor piece to make from Behemoth Somerset and Monster Hunter World. Recommend the legs. It's the one with attack 3. It's attack 2 and crypt boost 1. Oh, okay. Crippus 1 sounds pretty nice. Security Blade. Uh, shock damage, that's not bad. It's probably better than what Parvati's got. But I, I kind of want to give her the hammer, you know, so she can hold on to that. Okay, so 60 lockpicking to get in there. What do we have down here? What is this? Is this a ship? Sort of looks like a ship's uh, drive booster or something. What about here? Pit cartridges and absolutely nothing. All right. So we got a door that we need to go through. So we're going to go do that. And then we'll go to the back bays after we're done. Let's see who we've got around here. Oh, I know where the... Okay, this is the barred door from before. Okay, got it. Well, we can get back in there now if we ever so choose. Alright, to the back bays then. Let's see, we need to do this one. And then go from there. Uh, this is the, this is the nav key. So we don't want to do that just yet. Um, I'll bet you the science weapon here, unless it's down in the back bays, I'll bet you the science weapon here is inside of that 60 lockpick door. Am I ever gonna have 60 lockpick? Let me look at my skills. Yeah, because, well, maybe not yet, but lockpick is a part of this, so... Um, if I take the heavy armor off of Parvati, what does that give her? Tech skills, dialogue skills, hack, block. So that puts that there, and that gives me 46... No, that's engineering. Uh, 47 lockpick. Okay, so not quite 60 yet, still. But uh, good to know. At least we know that that's there. So, all right, Parvati, back in the back in the big armor. There we go. I had a question about your plan, Mr. Vicar. Of course, the cosmos is generated and directed by the universal equation, also known as the grand plan. That's not. By contemplating the teleological order of things, one can achieve verity. She didn't even ask the question yet. Oh, um, right. You had a question. <laughs> All right, then. Well, anyway. The news packet had the toss ball scores from the Connors. What 
about the rail gliding championship? Rail grind? Oh, there's rail grinding in this universe? Holy shit, I like it already. I like the rail grinding sections in the Ratchet and Clank games too, but we'll get to those soon enough. Make that because you're a hungry bastard. Well, hungry mean you want to make monsters hurt, but at the same time, Dante's armor is good, so you don't know. Could probably farm the quest to get Dante's armor, but don't know if you want to. Worth it and not overly hard. Of course, don't know how good of a hunter you are, but if you're fighting Behemoth, you'd say you're good. Conker seems like he's pretty good, because um, he's taken on the Behemoth solo, so I would have to say that seems like he's pretty good. I don't know anything about Monster Hunter, so I, I but I could probably say, I could probably vouch for Conker's capacity as a hunter. I think that's a fair bet. So, oh, and see, I wasn't sure if by Dante's armor you guys meant like Devil May Cry armor, but apparently, yeah, because Rebellion's in the game too. <laughs> so, all right, interesting. Didn't know Dante was making a cameo. Terror on the frontier. A mysterious stranger threatens our way of life. The destruction of Emerald Vale. Oh boy, they're making a movie about me already. Or no, that's just a, a newspaper clip. Never mind. Got it. Say so you're a decent hunter. The back base, Captain McCred. Oh, Captain McCred. I think I. Hey, McCred. Were you expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now, or he'll parley with the king. I think I remember them talking about McCred, but actually, I think I do want to talk. Oh my God. I think I do want to talk with you. Hi. Look at this ripe piece of meat just sizzling on the grill. Huh. Yum, yum. Sorry, man. I don't swing that way. The flames. It's nothing personal. Promise. Yeah, sure. Is this what carbon monoxide poisoning looks like? I don't think this deck is too well ventilated. Then maybe we should get our helmets back Speaking on. for myself, Captain, I am not of a mind to be murdered by a psychopath who plays with fire. I'd say I'd have to agree. The crew. Welcome. We got plenty of space to spread out, but only room for one captain. Uh huh. Persuade 40, intimidate 4. I don't have 40 in either of those yet. Exploring the ship and stumbled on this level. Attack neither is this. Yeah, actually, that that is kind of true. I mean, we, we stumbled on this level, but we are looking for something, but he doesn't need to know that yet. You stumbled into my court without an invitation, neighbor from above. If you don't have any business, then it's time to light up the grill. Mm hmm. Yeah, and go for it. Could help a guy. Ran out of PS Plus this month. Do you have Iceborne? He's a hunter. Uh, then I guess we'll just be going. No one turns their back on me while I'm holding court. Uh oh. Get them, boys! Oh boy. Uh, oh, hello. Uh, wait, what's what's uh, gun bash? Up oh, there we go. That is a, an interesting weapon you've got there, Captain. I am dying. Uh, hold on. Oh, I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> I did not realize that was going to happen, so, all right. Um, how about we continue? Where did I last save? There. Okay, wherever there is. Let's go back to there. Should probably get my assault rifle out, since that'll probably do a little more damage. Plan PC version since PS Plus ran a while ago. Considering getting Iceborns, if you can get some cash for it. Nah, gotcha. I think Cole has Iceborn, if I recall correctly. But, uh... And I think he might even have done most of the content in it, I want to say. Or maybe he just got bored of the endgame content of it. I don't really know. He played it quite religiously for a while, but... Then I, uh... I had to play a couple games on the PS4, and he was like, Okay, fine. I'm done with what I wanted to do anyway, so... So I don't know. There is a lot of dudes here, though, so I gotta gotta be a little more careful than what just happened there. All right, assault rifles out. Let's get in. I also should probably use some of our uh, companion abilities since I have those to to work with. Try to find some cover. See if I can find some cover over here. Maybe funnel a few people. Okay, so there is cover, but it's back here. Hey, McRed. Any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Can I just walk past you? Not another step in that direction, friend. So apparently not. No, you can't just step past him. Alright. Look at this, right? 
Blah, blah, blah. You came with the... Okay, so we don't have the Persuader Intimidate to do this. Uh, we know that he won't really parlay, so... Okay, I'm going to run this way. And get behind cover real quick. Uh, okay, hi. Okay, I, I didn't mean to do that, but all right, that's fine. Uh, Parvati and the Vicar are dead. That's not good. Let me reload real quick. <laughs> this is actually working out kind of okay. Oh, okay. Oh, hello there. Uh-oh. Somebody was messing with me. I think it was uh, the captain if I recall correctly. He was not making my job easy there. Because that that's looked like his weapon that was zapping me there. I think we have to kill him first, because if we don't kill him first, uh, he sort of messes us up, so. All right. Rip mono death count probably somewhere over 100. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I haven't been keeping track. Take some jet turbo, run around in bullet time, stabbing everyone to death like you did. Oh, wait, this isn't Fallout. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we do have bullet time, but I don't have it for that long. That's the unfortunate part. You know what I could do, though, is I could start the fight with bullet time, and then I could use my, my companion abilities to blast him into pieces. So that way, I mean, once it's down to just the other guys, it's like, whatever. Just use the inhaler a few times, and we'll be fine. But, uh, yeah. It, it's just a matter of getting him dead. So I'm going to save when we get down there, I think. So that way we have it all taken care of. Okay, so first things first, we'll get out of the, the talk with him. I'll start my time dilation. We'll do a couple of shots with the plasma rifle. And I'll probably have both Parvati and uh, the Vicar use their, uh, use their abilities on him. And that should do us good. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. If only I had more Persuade. Oh, well. Alright, there's that. And then... Okay, I don't know if that hit him. I don't think it did, but... Alright, interesting. Uh... Oh, I have more again, okay. Where do you think you're going? Oh, there's the captain, okay. I think I got him, nice. Oh, damn it. Okay. Why don't you guys have a little bit of HP there? Alright, who's left? Oh, okay. Hi. Come on now, there we go. Aim is still off a little. There we go. Who else is left? Okay. We good? Uh, the vicar's not so good, but that's what we have this for, so. Okay, we got him. Nice. Yeah, just a matter of eliminating the captain. That was it. Once we had him down, it, they pretty much all went down pretty easy, so. Uh, McCred's lighter. Spacer's Choice lighter engraved with the name... We've heard the name Sunita before, haven't we? Okay. Dolly Dolly Toxin Free. Montag. What is this? Heavy weapon with stun. Finally, a lock-on flamethrower, and it burns at almost 506 cal... Wow, that's pretty hot. Okay. So we had an exclusive weapon. Interesting. Optic goggles. Uh, break those down, too. No, you don't got nothing on you. Adreno, I'll take that. Water-resistant wear, casual. Just a few things. A few more things to break down, I guess. It's fine. Oh, there's a crawl space here. I guess I could have gone in there. Uh, spacer's Corona. It's a steel? Really? All right. 
Apparently all of these are steel. I wonder what that's all about. Model spaceship, sawed-off shotgun, pocket watch, revolver. I mean, does it particularly matter? I guess I don't want to lose karma with the other people here. Also, that's like shock pink too, so... Yeah, unfortunately no grenade items, but here's the thing. Parvati's hammer attack actually pretty much doubles as a grenade for us, so that's that's why I try. I said it's probably just a matter of using those a little bit more effectively. Um, so, as long as Parvati has her cooldown, we should be in good shape. She she's my she's my tactical grenade basically. So, because I haven't gotten any grenades yet, I don't know if there are any grenades for that matter. I guess I could have shot that too if I had done that like early on. Oh well. Well, let's have a look around. I could sleep in the carbon monoxide poisoning area. That sounds like a great idea. Uh, upstairs. Oh, more things. What? Oh, okay. I thought something was moving on the other side there. I was like, what is that? No, nope, it's just the. It's just more, more zapping. That's all. Uh, is that a scrap mechanic? Okay, so it is in fact what I thought. It is another enemy. It just didn't notice me while I'm waltzing around here. A ring, light ammo, and an energy cell. Yeah, I don't know whose stuff this is, but I'm taking it. It's it's mine now. <laughs> Somebody probably needs it, but I, yeah, it's mine. I found this place. I killed a captain that was being an asshole. It's mine now. <laughs> uh, we'll even take this stuff. Model spaceship. I think I had that for the ship already. Sawed off shotgun. Break that down pocket watch, and a revolver. Um, I don't know if we have a revolver, so I'm going to take that. I think if I recall correctly, Ellie uses pistols, so that's why I'm kind of trying to hold on to a couple of, uh, a couple of pistol weapons, or at least one pistol weapon for her, so. But yeah, I'll tell you what, grenades would be nice. I don't know what those are, Parvati, but they don't sound particularly appetizing. Outlaws. Salvage parts are up here. Okay, let's check everywhere else first then. What's up here? Anybody in particular? I gotta tell you what though. Oh. I do feel much more at home. <laughs> Fuck your birthday. It's not very nice. What the hell's wrong with you, man? I gotta tell you though, I do feel much more at home uh, in the combat sections in this game. I feel like a fish out of water in some of the dialogue sections. So, there's nothing wrong with them, just, I don't know, I'm not that experienced with them, I guess. Okay, 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 okay. I'm backing up. Am I crippled or something? What the hell's going on? Like I'm walking real slow. Oh, there we go. Are they going to come down and around at me or something? Like that way? I don't know where they're going to come from. <laughs> Maybe this wasn't the smartest plan. Uh, oh, yep, here they come. Trying to, anyway. Did they open that door? I think they're confused. Well, this guy's dead at least. Yeah, I think they're rather confused. Oh, okay, I ended up where the salvage parts are anyway. All right. I guess we'll just unlock that. And sneak around like we just don't care. <laughs> Of course, when you're sne yeah, sneaking around like you just don't care, you you sort of just uh, don't sneak, do you? Uh, oh, those are the salvage parts. Anything else worth taking? Light ammo? I'll take that. More ammo? Heavy ammo. I don't know what the stealing thing is all about down here. Like, I've, I gotta figure if they're... 
not using it. Like, who's, like, who steals from outlaws, you know what I mean? Like, it, they're, they're outlaws. Does it matter? Radiator parts. I hope so. It will help with getting some bits together, that's for sure. Alright, so maybe we'll be able to find cigarette lighter. Parts, armor, parts, bit cartridge. Be able to find the people that were down here that were trying to mess with me. Did they drop off of here? I think so, but you know what else I think? I think that scrap mechanical is still uh, down there, so I think we got to be a little more careful than just dropping down, you know? Construction mechanical? Did I just miss looting that? Probably. Alright. Oh! I see. Alright now. That sounded like it hurt a little bit. Anybody else? Not yet. I see some enemy markers, but, well, they're not bothering me just yet, so. Oh, <laughs> I, I uh, turned them into another dust pile. Great. Okay, so we can't go that way, so I guess we're going in the front door this time. Worms in their shrooms? Outlaw squad leader. Okay, that's probably bad. And a sniper, too. Okay, I'm glad we didn't go fight that mechanical, because we probably would have had to deal with both of them if we did. And here we see Jimmy following one of the rules of RPGs. Loot everything possible before continuing to the objective. My favorite pastime turns dungeon calls in 30 minutes to at least an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah, I really, honestly, I probably shouldn't be taking, like some of the stuff that I'm taking. Like, specifically, like, the, the non... the stuff that I'm not using. Um, like, the, the Nyko pad and all that stuff. Like, I have no use for that stuff, so I don't know why I'm taking it, but... I took it anyway. Maybe I'll stop doing that for later. Oh, well, there's the squad leader. 299 health, a little bit of armor. Get him, Parvati! Nice. Anybody else? Yep. I'll take your confession now. <laughs> I like his one-liners. They're pretty good. Okay, well that takes care of that. Companion abilities are pretty good, man. I gotta tell ya. I know they give you the option of, uh... You know, playing solo, because there is a, there's like a, um, well, there's an assault rifle I can take. I guess I'll take it. There's an option to play solo, like if you don't take partners or companions with you, you can just, uh, I don't want the cider. You can play solo and just impact hammer. Oh, that's one she's got. All right, well, we can break it down. You don't have to take partners with you. That's the point that I'm saying. You don't have to take companions with you, and you, there's a, there's actually a perk that gives you increased damage if you don't have companions with you, but... I don't know, it just doesn't seem like it makes up for the, the positives you get from taking companions with you, so. No judgments, you two are a hoarder, same. <laughs> no, nah, but I don't, the thing is, I'm not really going to use it. I mean, I guess for now, it's fine to take the stuff, because, like, I'm, I'm short on bits. So I'm trying to get to the 10,000 bits we need to get that pad thing from Gladys. So I guess it makes sense to take them now, but it is more inventory sorting that I didn't need to, so... Junior Mycologist's Log. When I settled on Groundbreaker, I thought this would be my gateway to the stars, the beginning of my epic tale as a spacer. Now I grow shrooms for a bunch of outlaws. Not even for selling, they just eat the damn things by the handful. Some of the crew have been tripping for weeks. I suppose it could be worse. Heard of a sublight contractor who got dissolved in chemicals and flushed down waste treatment for stealing from Lilia. Now McCred, he's always happy to see me. Calls me his fungus lad. Okay, then. Well, that's one nickname that I... I guess I wouldn't mind having a nickname like that, but... Eh, I don't know. Anyway, update. McCred just set a man on fire for having his laces undone. Shit, shit, shit. 
Maybe I need to be more careful about what I'm growing. I want to find something that calms him down. Time to experiment. Okay, so he could have been calm if I had persuaded him properly, but well, my persuasion was not on point, so. Yeah, well, that's all right. Sniper didn't have much of anything for me. I probably vaporized it along with most of his insides. Uh, the heavy ammo. Okay. Yeah, I don't know who we're stealing this stuff from. It doesn't particularly matter to me. I'm just going to grab it anyway. And there's another explosive canister. That So I think what it is is they've... Instead of giving you grenades in this game, they give you a bunch of explosive canisters littered around the um, the area. I don't think I like that as much, because I prefer to just have the explosives in my inventory so I can explode people when I want to, rather than them just littering the uh, area with a bunch of... Uh, oh, wow. Those are some big maggots. Yeah, rather than them just littering the area with a bunch of explosive canisters, I'd much rather they just give them to me in portable form, you know? All right, let's see here. He has 524 and a lot of armor. Where was his... Oh, wait, hang on. I saw MAME on it. Hold on. So, you know what? I'm not using a lot of tactical. If I... That, there was a MAME here somewhere, though. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There we go. Whoop, hang on. All right, in we go. <laughs> nice. Did you get him? Almost. Ha. Nice. Good work, team. All right, what do we got here? Okay. And I'll bet you, yep, that's where we would have dropped off, is right over there, so... There's a few more areas to explore in here, too. All right. We'll go look around, then. Okay. I probably don't need all of this ammo, but it's probably not bad to have it, either. Will probably assist me. Oh, oh, shit. Okay, then. Didn't realize there was going to be 70 million people down here. All right. <laughs> Sometimes violence is the only way. Okay, that takes care of that now. Oh, hello. Get him, Vicar. Private Letty Dixon. Well, you don't seem like you're hostile there, friend. Let me just reload and then grab everything off the dead bodies before we have our little chat. Is she down here tripping, though? Is that what's going on? Oh, that, you know what? Thinking about it, she might be the person I'm stealing from, huh? Oh, boy. Light pistol. Or he actually didn't look. Corporation Service Award. All right. Hey, I saw that. What do you think you're doing? I don't know. Just looting. Hey, 48 bits look the other way. Nothing at all. Whatever I want. I was just leaving. Uh, nothing at all. I don't have time for this. <laughs> okay, so she's the one I'd be stealing from. Got it. So what are you doing down here? I haven't seen any new faces down here since I arrived. Not sure how long ago that was. The Gred tends to incinerate anyone who comes by. Yeah, he's a bit of a hard ass, isn't he? <laughs> McGred's dead. I'll do that in a minute. Do I can remind you of the mushroom hunting episode from Cowboy Bebop? <laughs> See, I haven't watched Cowboy Bebop, but mushroom hunting sounds like a fun uh, episode to do in an anime. Everybody's losing charge, booting up Twitch on PC. Okay. See you in a minute there, Conker. Uh, let's see... Yeah, I guess this is the... Well, actually, first, let's tell her that McCred's dead. Oh, that's too bad. I mean, he was a scary fucker, total pyromaniac, but... You know how it is. You meet a guy, get used to his quirks, and then blam. Yeah, I can't say I would ever get used to someone like McCred. What are you doing here? Dune Lay sent me down to collect the parts we need to fix the radiators. 
McRae got me all distracted sucking fumes and <laughs> talking about the cosmos. Oh, so you were just down here doing Those shrooms. Have no principles. <laughs> I can't tell if you brought friends or if I'm still seeing things, so maybe I ought to lay off the fumes and head back to work. That seems like a pretty good idea, yeah. Is there any part to engineer can use your help? Probably a better off in engineering than down here with the outlaws. Actually, this is probably... I mean, they seem like they're both the same option, so I'll just say this one. I'll get back to my post. See you topside, stranger. All right, cool. See ya. Now to loot everything else that was marked as stealing without her knowing about it. <laughs> uh, what is this? Dehydrated water tablets. Okay. Oh, I can just pick this without any problems. A nice. revolver. Um, I think I already have one of those. Let me see. There's Mantag. Yeah, we have a revolver. Okay. Uh, oop, I meant to break that down, but all right. Officer Spine. Oh, the Corrosion one. Nice. That should come in handy. PD. What's a, what's a PD? ZT. Ooh, look, they got a fridge. It's stocked with stuff. Thing in here that I would want. Algae lager? Gross. Can't say there's anything in here that I would want. Alright. Uh, we got everything out of these bins already, I think. Unless we missed something in here. Yep. And yep. Okay. Got it. Okay, well, we've rescued an engineer, so that's probably also a good thing. Probably excuse my petty thievery as well. Good thing Twitch loaded quickly usually takes a while. Oh, nice. Nice. Well, welcome back, Conker. Glad it loaded up pretty quick for you there. That's good. Can you imagine being frozen for ten years, sailing through space in a room such as this? Yes. Actually, because I was frozen for a lot longer than that, but that's really none of your business, so. Plasma rifle. Ammo. Nothing. Oh, okay, so this is a cryogenic chamber. Okay. Looks like everybody uh, got out of this one, though. Because it doesn't look like there's any pods left. New cells, mag pick, laboratory rapid splash resistant. I can probably break that down into armor parts. I don't know how many armor parts I actually need, but well, I guess I've got them, so I might as well use them. I'll, I'll take care of my inventory off screen like I was before, so. Don't want to forget this. All right, we've done a bunch of petty thievery, but we also killed the outlaw that was in charge of the crazy shroom people down here. So, and we have the radiator parts. So that's probably the most important thing. I almost missed another mag pick. So let's take them back up to Junlei and see what happens from there. Oops. There we go. And after that, we can probably uh, put our, our our normal gear back on now. You can be both admired and feared by the same faction. They are not mutually exclusive. Interesting. So probably I will be that with Spacer's Choice, because I, I seem to be doing like positive and negative things with Spacer's Choice. <laughs> so I'll have to see how that goes. All right, let's go give the parts to Jinlei and see what she's got going on there. And then we've uh, got a few other things to do, and we can actually go do them now because the groundbreaker is, uh, or the unreliable is, is not grounded anymore. So. You've returned, and in one piece. Color me impressed. Almost didn't. That guy almost vaporized me. Actually, he did a couple of times, but, well, I reloaded, so that technically never happened. Here's the parts. Good work. I'll take those. I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Take the elevator down into the machinery shaft. There's a terminal in the back. Activate it when I call over the ship's PA. And bring weapons. There's a slight manticular infestation. Okay, we aren't taking the armor off then yet. Uh, what does slight mean? More than a few. Less than a hive. Nothing you can't handle. <laughs> okay. We salvaging parts from a ship. Turned out there were eggs inside. They got into the radiators, and here we are. 
wondered how that would work narratively. That's what I'd like to believe. Is they uh, technically I've reloaded, so they they wouldn't need they wouldn't know that I've died multiple times. The only person that would know would be me, but that would be me out of character anyway. All right, I guess we're going to exterminate pests now. Don't worry, Miss Junlei. We'll be super gentle with the ship. You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires and such. Yeah. I'm genuinely heartened to hear that. Thank you. We'll take care of business. So we got to go in the back here. Is that lady back up here now? The one that I uh, sent back up is probably over there somewhere. Workbench discovered. Where? There. Okay. Got it. Uh, this is definitely stealing, so we're not going to work me about that. Okay, so wherever we need to go, it's down there. All right. So let's head downstairs. We are all molecular machines. The body is a collection of atoms. The mind is the consequence of chemical reactions. Therefore, our lives are predestined along a path that is only visible in retrospect. Life is fated and unstoppable. I don't know, Mr. Vicker. That seems like quite a leap. <laughs> I was going to say, what, a bro what brought on that sermon? The controls are in the back of the machinery shaft area. Keep clear of the radiators. Okay, then. You don't need to kill the man killers, but I'd be mighty grateful if you did. I've got this thing about giant insects. Okay, that is bigger than I thought it was going to be. All right. Blind hit, Captain. That one's done for. <laughs> I've had quite enough of you. Is that thing dead? I don't know if it's dead, but Parvati's probably getting acidically. Where are you going? Up there. Is she really going gung ho on that? She is really going gung ho on that thing. Hold on, Parvati, hold on, I'm coming. We were no, she got to it. I was gonna have her use her ability on it, but this works too. Those things were sketchy, though, man. Uh-oh. Okay. Got it. I will keep that in mind, but first... Mag pick. Oh, you know, I might have been accidentally hugging the uh, <laughs> the radiator there. <laughs> Probably not very smart. Heavy ammo energy cell. Okay. Excuse me. All right, before we go in there, I want to go back down and see if the mantis pillar things had anything worth salvaging. Probably not. Or Well, I mean, there could be bins down here, too, that have things that actually are worth salvaging. So, like these. There you go. There's a terminal down here, too. I don't think these mana pillars are going to have much. Archive logs and transmissions. Okay. Rival confirmation, a stern reminder. All right, we can look at both. These might have something to do with when they uh, came out of cryosleep, so let's see. So uh, let's see here. To HHB, Earth HQ, transmitted via probe, archived of sor at source. It is my honor to report that the Groundbreaker has successfully arrived at the Lagrange Point, having released our cargo of prefab housing, settlers, and supplies at their intended colony worlds. May they prosper and expand. Now that stages one and two of the mission have been carried out, my family will take ownership of the Groundbreaker as specified in our contract, keeping the ship in active duty as an independent trading post, repair stop, and cargo bay. I'd be remiss if I closed this transmission without sending my hopes and best wishes back to Earth. There's so much ahead of us, but we'll never forget what we left behind. Let's see if this is slightly less hopeful of what happened, because I wouldn't be shocked. Yeah, that's true. I have killed bigger bugs. Fair enough. Do you have to worry about companion weapon ammo? I don't think so. Um, I haven't noticed a significant dip in my own ammo when my companions use ammo. Um, but it's like your ammo stores are all stored in your inventory in the top right corner. I'll show you when we get off this menu. 
But I don't think you have to worry about it, because I haven't noticed it dipping all that much. Maybe I just get a lot of ammo, I don't know. I mean, that's the reason why you get a lot of ammo. I, I don't know, either way. I'll look in a minute. Uh, some very rich and unsavory elements among our colonial neighbors seem to have the wrong idea about why I flew us out here. It wasn't for a nine-figure blood money salary and a Spacer's Choice logo stamped on my ass. It wasn't a nickel and dime passing ships out of their last bit. Groundbreaker has no role in the success or failure of Halcyon's corporate entities, period. I negotiated that understanding and clearly outlined it in writing before I ever set foot on this ship. If anyone wants to dispute or compromise our independence, they will answer to a Tennyson. We're a family operation. Even when the last Tennyson falls, Groundbreaker will remember us and defend its freedom accordingly. Well, uh... She, Jinlei wasn't wrong, then. This place is a family-owned business. It's like a small business versus a corporate operation. Uh, so yeah, like, your, your ammo is all kept up here. Yeah, light, heavy, and energy. And, I mean, like I said, I haven't noticed a significant dip in my ammo storage. Um, and I could actually check and see if they have their own ammo. Excuse me, it doesn't look like they do. I guess I could pay a little bit of attention uh, the next time we're in a firefight to see if they use up ammo or if not. It's worth knowing, I guess. Alright. More Manta Pillars, I'll bet. Probably sneaking around ain't gonna work too well against Manta Pillars, though, I'll bet. They're, they probably know I'm here already. Parts are in there. Drino, nice. What happens if I sneak around? Like how they all whisper, like they're gonna be quiet and stuff. Like it's actually, like someone's gonna hear you. <laughs> it's like in, uh, well, the wrong example, but in Final Fantasy XII, there's a section where the Bonga goons are all like trying to figure out where they're going. They're all looking for somebody, and the, the ones like Vloggy, go that way. But I was going this way! Hey, what's that? And they're all, like, arguing about it. It's like, just go in whatever direction you want to go in. It doesn't matter. Mechanical sentry. Okay, well. Sorry, friend. I guess we, uh, took care of him pretty handily. I'll bet you he's one of the ones that's killing some of the Manta Pillars. Like, the sentries are probably out and about trying to kill as many as they can since they got into the system. Armor parts. Alright, what do we got up here? Alive Manta Pillar, dead Manta Pillar. Something down below. They said sneak by if you can. I would kind of rather just have the, uh, experience that you get out of it, but let's see, is that alive? Mechanical Bar Guardian Mark 1 is alive. Oh, hello. And, oh, yep, that one's alive now, too. May the law have mercy on you! I won't! <laughs> Anybody else? Not up here, anyway. Okay. Yeah, the enemies down below are, are on to us, but uh, whether or not they can find us is another question altogether. Let's see here. Mag 2 zap. That's a shock one. That'll be nice. I'm going to try to keep, um, because I don't think the, um, mods that you get for armor and stuff are any different when you, uh... Oh. Oh. Okay, then. Yeah, I don't think the mods you get are any different, like, later in the game. I don't think there's any that add, like, more shock damage or anything like that. It's just adds shock damage. Like, it just adds it flat. So, later on in the game, it'll come in more handy to just have a few of them handy later. Oh, hang on. Okay, here we go. And now for this one, oh god. Let's not go far, too far down there. Awesome. Okay. 
You guys were having all the fun there with your companion abilities. I couldn't let you have all of it. I had to do a little bit of work myself. Otherwise, I can't exactly call myself captain now, can I? All right, what do we have here? Bit cartridges, okay. Can I get down here without breaking my leg? Yep, cool. About them, oh, they dropped down too, okay, nice. Energy cells, nothing. Uh, the parts are over here. Oh, there's the terminal, rather. So we could have snuck by. Oh, this door was barred, okay. So I couldn't have come in here even if I wanted to. I would have had to go around like I did. All right, that's fair. That's the terminal. I have the parts in position on my side. Go ahead and cycle the droplet pumps. Okay. And if you don't know what that means, just look for a command that says, cycle droplet pumps. <laughs> Seems simple enough. Let's see, cycle droplet pumps. Solid state radiator is 102%. Heat sinks at 98%, ambient station temperature, machinery shaft temperature, warning, lithium fluid pressure at 23%. Cycle droplet pumps. Cycling successful. Good. We fixed the radiators. What do the logs say? Anything interesting? Cowled together old plans, new problems. Okay, so these are probably also notes from Jinlei's uh, ancestors. Let's see. Oh, no, that's actually Jinlei's stuff. Okay. The staff is getting restless. Workaround and half-cocked solutions are all we've got to mend the groundbreaker's bones. In many cases, we can't revive one system without cannibalizing another. Grandma will live with that reality, and so will I. I can rally our spirits, but what happens when I'm not around? Groundbreaker's real test will be seeing if our independence outlasts me. I'll take that bet. Next one. Uh, old plans, new problems. Found some of Chief Giyang's. I don't know if that's how you say that, but, you know... Love the bongo in that game. The bongo were great, man. I wish you got companions in Final Fantasy XII that were, like, not just humans. Like, I know, I know you get Fran, but it's, like, five humans and one Vera. Five Hures and one... Or is it Hure or Hume? I think it's Hume. Five Humes and one Vera in a game with so many different kinds of people. It's, like, can, can I get, like, a bonga bound... Like, can I get Bagamnon as a party member? Like, come on now. Can I, can I get, like, a, a Ruten Yensa as a party member? Like, just some, some variety, you know what I mean? I know it's easier to write if they're all human, because it's, like, it's easy to relate to all of them, but, like, I don't know, just a little variety would be nice. I know in Tactics there's variety, but, yeah, I don't know. Well, Tactics Advance, anyway. I don't know how much variety there is in regular Tactics. I haven't played Tactics 1. I haven't played any of the Tactics games, for that matter, but eh, maybe maybe in the future. I do like the Evelisian Alliance enough to play all of them through uh, just on principle alone. So, anyway, uh, old schematics. Groundbreaker must have taken a beating during the crossing because she spent half of her career patching it up. Lots of corners cut when they put this place together. What a shock! Among her papers, I also found the layout of a hangar that doesn't match any of my docks. Something that might have gotten sealed off along the way, like blood cells isolating an infection. I hate to put sentiment down in print, but every time I open a panel or find some workaround in the guts of this old bird. It's like I can feel you reaching out to me from the past, Grandma. Aww. Done. The temperatures are dropping. Good. Stop by once you found your way out of there. Groundbreaker owes you things. You say that like it's going to be hard. Please don't let it be hard. <laughs> I'm going to keep my weapon out just in case anyway. Uh, are there going to be any more Manta Pillars that are going to want to murder me? Having a shotgun here would have been rather nice, but... Yeah, later. Oh, hey. I'll take those. They might come in handy later. Okay. No problem. Let's get the hell out of here. Seeing you limp a little bit. You all right, Mr. Bigger? Need us to slow down? What are you implying? I am perfectly fit. My uh, knee is just acting up. Sure. There's no shame in being older, Mr. Vicker. Don't worry. The captain and I will take care of you. <laughs> I need neither your advice nor your pity, young lady. Oh, boy. Good interactions so far between these two. I hope a lot of the companions have those sorts of interactions. That'd be rather nice. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisements. Is this the one with the toss ball thing? Hang on, let me listen. Do you have what it takes? No. <laughs> and the unemployed. Great. You know, technically I'm one of them. My 
boards are returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts, but you're all right. Well, to be fair, there wasn't that much we mucking to be done. As we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. Oh, Torrent, no problem. About time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. I've also authorized Doc and Furu to sell you our premium meds. Nice. Yeah, I got 3,000 bit cartridges and some welder's goggles. So Edna has a comms issue, and we can buy meds. Cool. And we've leveled up again to level 9. Awesome. Groundbreaker's friendly. Good. Edna has a comms issue. Edna, hello, you have a comms well, issue, you said, they said. If so, we best do it now while we still got time. Well, what does that mean? Yeah, wh where, <laughs> where's it going? <laughs> Want a non-human fix? Play Tactics Advance 2? Okay. Gotcha. I'll keep that in mind, because I, I am planning on playing all of the Tactics games at some point in the future. I just don't know when. I've got a lot of games to play. <laughs> and where are you guys going? Me? No. But our relaying capabilities? That's on the final countdown. Uh-oh. We're going offline in three, two, one and a half... No. Wait. I've lost track of my weeks. Maybe it was 36 or uh, sometime dire soon. Yeah, uh -oh. that could that could be a problem. <laughs> uh, so yeah, why are you about to lose comm capabilities then? Our primary relay station soon to be occluded by a gas giant. Happens every 40 years or thereabouts. Uh huh. The events forecasted to last for months, during which we'll lose signal to the station. And that's our problem, how? Yeah, how am I going to move a gas giant? We backup auxiliary relays, but the one currently in orbital range went offline some months ago. We can't spare people for routine maintenance. So you want me to do it then, huh? So one relay station getting knocked out, it, it knocks out the whole system? Well, we wouldn't be utterly and completely blacked out, but we'd lose the majority of our comm traffic for sure. Okay, that makes Ships sense. and colonies on Terra 2 need a clear line from their communications towers to the Groundbreaker for the transmissions to make it through. And if you're blocked, they don't. If it's not clear, they transmit to the closest relay station, which stores the message, then passes it along when our orbits align. Which could be months. Uh, can't ships relay minutes. Both these are good questions, actually. But the other ones... I think I'm going to ask this one, actually. That they can and they do, but only between ships owned by the same corporation. No corporal authorized sending messages through a ship owned by a rival. Oh, great. <laughs> Hypercapitalism no strikes again. The wildcat freighters, not without charging them more than they'll make in a single haul anyway. Right. That's why we're the message hub. The Groundbreakers neither corporate owned nor board controlled. Our comms are neutral. I guess we can be glad that there is a neutral party around here somewhere. Uh, what about the other auxiliary? Yeah, actually, another yeah, good question. In orbital range during the occlusion event. Isn't it some law of the universe? The relay I gotta rely on is, of course, the one on the fritz. Yeah, it's like anything that can go wrong will go wrong. I forget which law that is. I think it's Murphy's Law? I forget. Well, I guess we gotta get the auxiliary station back online, then. Yeah, I'm working on it. I finally got the chief to approve the budget for a diagnostic expedition. But allocating the personnel loss for sending a technical team to the relay station keeps getting denied by Junlei, um, the chief. I know who you're talking about. It's fine. So, just sign off in that case. What's for me if I investigate the relay problem? I know what it is for me. You'll, gi you'll give me the diagnostic expedition fee. That's what you'll do. <laughs> uh, let's check out the relay, then. I should say no, but why not? Maybe you can figure out why it's offline. I'll send you with an equipment manual. Hopefully we'll get lucky, or I'll get my approval in time. Hmm. Hope you don't mind if I borrow that manual when you're done with it, Captain. I could do with some leisure reading. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, no problem. I need to retrieve a copy of the relay's backup data. I gotta forward any messages from Earth stored in the memory. Better late than never, eh? Yeah, fair enough. All right, so let's. So we need to get the memory drive and then go from there. Oh, I guess I don't know what she means. And what do you mean? The relay stations orbit the edge of the Halcyon system, so they tend to receive the majority of any transmissions from Earth. I'm sure the station's got a stack of junk messages just waiting for me to sort through. Oh, good. Sounds like a great plan. Something to sit in memory on an orbital relay. Do I... Is that a big concern? I mean, I don't really see the problem. I mean, it, you're, you're out in deep space. Like, what do you want? You can't get these messages instantly. <laughs> 
All right, I'm, I'm leaving. So we got another thing to take care of then, and we've also got points to spend. We're on level nine now. So let's go do that. Um, how did I say I wanted to do this again? I think I said like two, two, three, three. I was one point away from persuading what's his face. Oh, that sucks. Oh, well. Murphy's happens to do with infinite universe. There are those the things a minute as minute as having a couple more mosquitoes. Oh, uh, okay. Maybe that's what Murphy's is. Yes. I, I get all my laws mixed up, I find, at least when it comes to like the ones that are, you know, basically like proverbs and stuff. I get all those mixed up. So. Ah, well. Um. Let me see here. So we could start pumping this a little bit so I get more points out of my plasma and shock damage. We could also start pumping this to try to get these to companions gain 20% armor rating and extra critical damage. That sounds pretty good. Let's start working. You know, I'll, I'll start working on these for now, I think. Um, we've, we've upgraded long guns pretty good for a little while. Uh, you know, actually, here's a little bit. We'll do one here, one here. And then we'll do four in each of these. So we'll do it that way. There we go. So yeah, I, I guess I still will be a little more support oriented of a character rather than uh, other things. I do think I need to go respec though when I get on the ship because I want to um, actually have Parvati and the Vicar not have their exclusive upgrades. Um, it seems like they're okay their exclusive perks, but they're not like anything particularly great. Like this engineering upgrade that's here, it's nice if you want to have the engineering expertise, but it doesn't stack with like any armor or uh, any uh, perks that I get that increase the amount. Like if I got that one perk that doubles their contribution to my skills, it doesn't make this 20 engineering. It still stays 10. So it's not exactly the best. I might just want to get them health, honestly, because that might... Uh, excuse me, go a little bit better. Um, and then for Parvati, I'm not sure if I want melee damage or what. I know that I definitely want to get this for everybody, though, because um, this increases their damage with their the ability that they use, and their abilities are really strong, in case you were not aware. Um, so getting those seem like they'd be pretty good. It's it's uh, every five levels, I think, they get a perk, if I recall correctly. So... Um, Increase damage for a short time for forming their companion ability. That's not a bad one either. So this and this probably work pretty well in synergy. Um, I don't know what we take for the next one. Um, honestly, I've only leveled my um, skills. I, I found a skill calculator that I can use, but I've only leveled those skills up to level like 20 or 21 because I wasn't sure how high of a level we were going to get to by the end game. But considering how quickly we're leveling up, I wouldn't be shocked if we gained a few more levels. Where does this go? Oh, back room. Hi. Sorry. Didn't know where it went. Just exploring. <laughs> okay, well, that takes care of that. Now let's see. What else do we have in the journal? We've still got the nav key, but I don't have the money for that just yet, right? Yeah, I got, I got almost 5,000, 4,600. So we're getting there, but not quite yet. We have a relay to go take care of. Uh, the distress signal recording, I can go do that on my ship like right now. We could also go do this since we helped out their uh, settlement before to see if we can do something with that. We'll go do that later. Um, original Cheney, Acid Steeper, and we got to ask Parvati about Jinlei as well, so I guess we'll go do that. Either way, it looks like we're actually heading back to the ship now, so that's good. Let's head back to the ship and see what we can do. Um, and actually, I think before we go, I might sort through my inventory a little bit. Um, actually, you know what? No, not yet. Because I haven't outfitted Ellie uh, as a companion yet, so I'll sort through my inventory later when I have actually uh, outfitted her with some armor and weapons. Why in the architect's name would you say that? It's just that you're real grouchy. Kind of all the time. <laughs> I'm not grouchy. I'm just, just irritated by your name questions. <laughs> yeah, see, when you say it like that, 
Oh boy. All right, so. Hey, where'd that other guy go? Hmm. There was a dude over here, wasn't there? That Felix guy? Where'd he go? I figured he'd be back where he was before, but apparently not. Huh. Like, he was over here. Wonder if he went and got himself in trouble again. Oh, boy. Well, anyway, we gotta go to our ship. Oh, there you are! Hey, you got a second? What's up? I figured you'd be around here somewhere. Fancy running into you again. Don't mind me. It's just admiring your ship from up close. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Boss. That's a fine looking ship. Only thing it's missing is me. Well, you don't lack for confidence now, do you? <laughs> don't appreciate being stalked. I don't think it's a stalking matter. I mean, it's a big ass ship. Not really hard to stalk it. So you're you just feel like throwing in with somebody random like me? Yes, I absolutely am. I mean, I guess you'd want to get out of here, but... It's all I'm asking. I could be the best damn crew you ever hired. Hmm. Consider this your interview. You're trying to convince me to hire you. You're going about it all wrong. Uh, I don't need to know about the temperament thing. Uh, tell me why I should hire you. You're serious. You're giving me a shot. All right. Uh, hang on. Hang on. I put together a little speech, just in case... Oh, my God. <laughs> hey there. I'm Felix Millstone. I have prepared a list of reasons why I believe you should hire me to join the crew of your ship and or outlaw gang. If you wanted an outlaw gang, you you didn't have to look very far. They were just downstairs. Yeah, are you... I thought I heard papers. But I thought... Is he reading off his hand? Yeah. It's a second draft. Oh, okay. Firstly, I am highly personable, <laughs> and I get along well with anyone who is not of the jackass persuasion. Did he... <laughs> Sorry. He's funny. Yeah, no, he's hysterical, but did he write his first draft on his other hand? Like the event of a firefight, standoff, and or raid. My motto is if you need a steady gun hand, I'm your man. Did you just read that in a is a work in progress. Like a gruff voice on purpose, or I almost want to let him just keep going. I <laughs> this is funny. Additionally, I have several years of experience as a box hauler. This skill may come in handy if you need a body dragged away or a door held open while escaping enemy fire. How much did he write on his hand? Thank you for considering me for your ship crew and or outlaw gang. I look forward to... Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is, Gonker. I thought that was real good, Felix. Thanks for the vote of confidence. What do you think? Am I in? Yeah, I, I think... I mean, you've entertained me enough. Trying a body shootout, that's all kind of ship you think it is. I mean, that is the kind of ship that I'm running. You're hired. Wow. You don't know how long I've been waiting to hear that. Thanks, boss. You're not going to regret this. Yeah, all right. Well, we'll see. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll see you on the ship. I'll just gather my personals and meet you on board. This is going to be great. Really? We're picking up strays now? Oh, come on, Vicar. That's it's not that bad. Vicar. I'm sure we'll get along like a church on fire. <laughs> isn't isn't that like a part of your your mottos or something? Like the shepherd tending to the flock or some bullshit like that. I don't mean to make light of your uh, religious mantras and stuff, but like, come on, man. There's got to be something in there about that. Well, anyway, we've recruited two new party members because now Felix is also available to come onto the ship. Um, he said he was collecting his personals, but I think he'll be on here just fine so here we go now can I unequip and uh, re-equip like Parvati and the Vicar when I go on the ship that's the question because when they're on the ship I just I I'll turn the helmets off and I'd like them to just have their uh, their regular armor on so I've acquired Petey. I don't know what Petey is, but I sure am gonna have to find out, aren't I? Oh, okay, so I can I can look at Ellie's stuff from here. Oh, she has an auto mag pistol and an officer's spine already. Wow, she's pretty well outfitted. You know, probably other than her armor. Yeah, no helmet and the other stuff. All right. 
She has a perk. 10 medical. I'm probably just going to get the base health, honestly, for everybody. I think that seems like it would be more effective than just getting anything else. So uh, I will go get uh, this for you. So I don't have to respec you. Uh, no, don't leave. Apply. There we go. And now let's go over to field. Okay, what do you have there, friend? Grenade launcher. Why do you have a grenade? Where did you get that? <laughs> You're unemployed. What the hell, man? That's funny. I think I'm going to give him the Montag, honestly. Or Montag? I don't know how you pronounce that. But I, I'm, I think I'm going to give that to him, honestly. Seems like it'd be pretty good. There you go. Zappity zap zap flamethrower. Not too bad. It's probably worth a lot though, isn't it? 275. Well, it's not that much, I guess. And well, there's goggle of engineering plus 15, perception minus one. Great. Oh, that seems like it would be. I think I'm going to add that to junk, honestly. I don't think that's going to be all that useful to us. Uh, Felix, why don't you have a little more health as well? I'll mess around with this stuff as well uh, at a different point in time. So, uh, Parvati and the Vicar, I think, are fine for now. I'm just going to need to get them a few different things. So, Yeah, she does sort of look like a bounty hunter from the Old West without a hat. Yeah. I wonder if we can get like a cowboy hat in this game. That'd be kind of funny. Both a medic and a comic relief person on board. Yeah, so we have a medic, a religious person, an engineer, and the comic relief character. What are we missing from our crew at this point? I'm trying to think of the tropes that we're missing. Um, well, we already have the grouchy old dude, because that's our religious guy. Uh, trying to think if there's anybody else we'd be missing. We need a pilot, but I, kind, I guess the ship kind of pilots itself. I don't know. Missing a musician. Yes, we are missing a musician. That's true. Do you not have military-grade explosive hardware despite being unemployed? I sure as hell do. <laughs> I guess I need to get on the stick a little bit then, don't I? Huh? Oh, boy. <laughs> um, all right. I, I think I'm going to keep him with the toss ball stick because, I mean, it does pretty good damage, but it's less about that and more about the fact that he's a... I think if I remember right, he was talking about toss ball earlier, and that was why he got thrown out of the thing. So probably for the best that I hold on, have him hold on to that. I'll just tinker it up or something. I don't know. I kind of want to use this, even though I'm not good at melee, just for the corrosion. But it, it won't do much damage if I do it, so it's probably for the best that I, I just leave that on the back burner. Anyway. Oh, I did not expect you back so soon, Captain. What am I, uh... On time, Ada? I got everything done already. What, what did you expect? Do you expect me to die in there or something? <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, let me let me uh, give Parvati her uh, her her standard gear there. Uh, where is it? Here it is. And then give the vicar his standard gear back, which is this. Yep. And then undo the helmets again. There we go. It's a bit of a workaround for having them just dress in their regular clothes. Probably there at some point there will be a mod or something for this, but uh, yeah, you know. Hey, Captain, can I get your temperature on something real quick? Uh, sure. What is the ship about to blow up? <laughs> you misplaced your military grade grenade launcher. You better watch, Conquer. You don't want uh, some unsavory elements picking that up. That would be rather rather interesting. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna ask her this, even though it's probably just gonna frazzle her. What? No. If it were, I'd be hollering loud enough to wake the dead. Just being sarcastic. So, and I have been talking some. Through messages, I got him here on my data pad. And you guys no, work fast. She sent me a poem. When she wrote her own self, I'm pretty sure. Oh. I don't know if I should read into it. Because poems are all symbolic and such, right? It's not so good. <laughs> But real sweet. Well, if you think it's sweet, then tell her it's sweet. So it's... is it a, Yeah, I, this is a good question. Do you think it's a heart-filled poem? Oh, law. That's what's got me spooked. I don't rightly know. Hmm. It's about this engine that's been shaking itself apart. Then this lady mechanic comes by, and 
lays one hand on it, and the trouble goes away. It sings. Sounds like she's talking about you. Too hopeful, but I'm wondering if maybe she's the engine and I'm the lady. I. It's a real romantic poem. It made my chest hurt, kinda. I was thinking more like the engine was the ship, like the groundbreaker, and then you're the lady because you're the engineer that came in and took care of business there. You keep yours under your pillow while you sleep. Shame that you lost yours. Yeah, maybe Ronald told at some point. Not sure. Oh, boy. Another thing we got to hunt him down for. Oh, boy. So so she she likes you, then. Like, this this is pretty obvious. I don't think that this is... It, it, is anybody missing that at this point? Like, I, I could sense the potential chemistry between the two of them from the second they laid eyes on each other. But, yeah, it sounds like she likes you. I don't know where it's leading yet, or if I'm misinterpreting. Mm. I'm not much interested in physical stuff. Never have been. These ways, not like other folks seem to be. It's not that I can't. I just don't care for it. Hey, fair enough. I didn't need a history the lesson. <laughs> the folk who wanted to be with me back in the Vale, they didn't... They said I was cold. Well, you have your work that you focus on, that's all. It could just be nerves, everybody's different, don't worry about it. Sort of thing's playing nice, but it's not everything. Folks have said the same about me. Um, have people said that I've been cold in the past? I don't know if that's true. I mean, you kill things real good. <laughs> I know that's like a caveman thing to say, but... Thought he feared you. <laughs> I, I think he does, but he might have also been like, you know... Well, the more I can take away from this person, the less I have to fear, so... I'm going to say this one, because I think people have said I'm a little bit cold and abrasive at certain times, and like, just in real life, honestly. It wasn't the very nice thing to say, but I'm not going to say they're wrong. Just not very nice to say. I'm sad to hear it, Captain. You seem plenty warm to me, in your way. But, yeah, don't feel great, does it? Well, you make it work, that's all. Flying, you're a little different from an auto-mechanical. You start to wonder. <laughs> what, do you think you're a machine? To talk. I'm feeling a touch better. Thanks for hearing me out, Captain. No problem. I actually had another message from June Lei. I just couldn't work up the courage to open it. But I'm going to change that. Right now. Right now. Okay. Here Come on. Go. Open it. Let's see here. Talking about old friends. Got to thinking. Isabel. Who's, who's Isabel? Okay, don't read into it too much, Parvati. Slow down. What's going on? They were. Close, Captain. Like, more than friends close. Okay. Why would she tell you this in her second letter? Yeah, what do you mean they were? I don't know. June Lei talked about them like it was past, but how far in the past? Ten years? Last week? I mean, does it matter? It's in the past. <laughs> right now. Could we maybe head to the Groundbreaker? Get some drinks at that bar there? Lost Hope? Well, I mean, we haven't left, so I guess we could. Drinking solves everything. Gonna solve this problem. It'd be easier to talk to her about this Isabel person. No, that would be incredibly difficult for somebody like Parvati. So that doesn't seem like a good idea. Uh, sure, we'll head that way at some point. Probably we're gonna have to go to the uh, the satellite that they have. That's got the whole problem with the communications first, Parvati. But after that, we'll go. Thanks, Captain. I'll be ready. All right. Well, that takes care of that. Don't know if that's uh. Exactly what she wanted. Oh, actually, yeah, hang on. Before we go, uh, she's going to go up that ladder. I'll go the other way. I got to go respec, I think, for a couple of things. Okay, so I need to check this thing on my terminal. And um, after that, I need to go check in with the rest of my new crew members. Uh, this is what I want. I sh do I view it from here? Oh, I view it down there. Okay. So we'll go check that in with that on with Ada in a minute then. Um, okay. We'll do that in a sec then. Oh, I already did that. Felix, did you pick a room? You liking the digs? Good to see you, boss. What you got going on, man? Uh, we don't want him to part ways. How'd you end up on the groundbreaker? Didn't I tell you? I'm secretly the chairman's orphan child, abandoned at birth in the back bays. Yeah, all right. Uh-huh. 
Yeah, and then you were raised by a pack of sprats. That's right. Can't get anything past you, boss. Oh, you know, I'm the perceptive Honestly, type. Before you pick me up, I was living in the back bays. I spent my whole life up there, watching ships roll in and take off. I always wondered where my ship would come. I've picked up a lonely little orphan. Great. Means I was invisible. Life carried on for everybody else, but not for me. I had to make my own way. Well, sounds like you made your own way pretty good, considering. <laughs> You're kind of a stowaway now, if I'm being honest. <laughs> yeah, I guess you weren't obliged to anybody else. There, that is fair. Stowaways ain't free. We were just as trapped as anybody else. We didn't belong in the system, but we still had to live in it. We still had to play by the board's rules. Okay, maybe not so free. Spending your whole life looking out at the stars. And knowing you could never aspire to be anything more than a box hauler. That's what it's like. Okay, well that doesn't sound so free then. Yeah. It does, but usually don't go out of your way to do things concerning him. I want to nip that in the butt sometime soon. Decide so to keep your short sword under your pillow instead. Okay. Well, that short sword should keep you protected then. <laughs> yes, that works too, for sure. So where'd you find work then? Hauling boxes was about the only work I could find. Hated every second of it. The foreman and I never got on. Mm hmm Yeah, you, you mentioned that when you were talking about the toss ball thing. Could be I was overreacting. A better man might have turned the other cheek. Exercised a little bit of that, what's the word? Restraint? Yes. But on the other hand, broadsiding the jackass with a toss ball stick, that felt good. That felt real good. You want to try it. I'm not really made for melee combat, ma'am, but, you know, when I had a melee 25, I know I've had plenty of practice bludgeoning people. <laughs> With disagree, I expect you to be civilized. Couldn't have been diplomatic about it. I guess this would have helped, huh? Oh, well. Uh, do I expect him to be civilized if we have a disagreement? I don't really give a rat's ass if he is. <laughs> I just... Uh, I really don't know if he could have been diplomatic about it, but I guess we'll ask. Yeah, I mean, in theory... But I wouldn't have felt half as good. Probably, yeah. I caught a real lucky break. If you hadn't picked me up, I'd still be back at the docks, waiting for the day my ship arrives. I'm not wasting life. Pick you up, you're probably in a prison cell. You can thank me by not giving me any trouble. Thanks for the story. Yeah, I guess I am glad he's not wasting his life hauling boxes, because that's... I mean, that's... I mean, ever somebody has to do it, but that doesn't mean that he has to. Yeah. I guess my ship did arrive in the end. I've got you to thank for that. Well, you can thank me by helping me murder people that are trying to kill me. How about that? All right, so that takes care of that. Let's go see the vicar and Ellie. And see if uh, Ellie's adjusted to her new digs. One day, my son, one day you will be free of your prison. <laughs> but today's not that day, unfortunately. Uh, there's the vicar. Hello. Yes, you caught me ruminating again. Guilty as charged. I mean, I didn't even ask, but okay. Uh, personal quest appears out of my career. I don't want that to be a thing there. We've already really picked up a lot of the information about the vicar. Just, just checking in. That's all. Go back to your ruminations. Oh, Ellie's in the mess hall. Do we even have food? I mean, I've been picking up a few things, but like, where do we get our food from? Does somebody do the sh do the other companion do the shopping when I'm not uh, I've taken other people with me? Anyway, hey Ellie. Something on your mind? Just checking in, you know. Yeah, just seeing what we got. What what uh, new blood we've got for the crew? I'm a surgeon by training and a pirate by inclination. Not much else to know, Captain. I like long walks on the promenade and the smell of Spacer's Corona. Yeah, I Spacer's make a Corona's zero gross. Tea cocktail and I've got a meaner right hook. Well, that last part is is good. The zero G cocktail. Just experience contracting that with other captains. Know something more personal. I don't need to know anything more personal. Uh, I guess I could ask this. I can't say I've ever had one. It's a mix of whatever you've got on hand. Usually zero G brew with some Spectrum vodka if you're lucky. Purple berry shake if you're not. Sounds even more gross. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it straight then. Out on the edge of the aether, we learn to make do with what we've got. No room for fancy predilections. Well, that's fair enough. I'm I'm more saying it sounds disgusting, Ellie. You gotta understand, I don't drink pretty much anything but water. Like I sometimes decide I'm okay to drink, but 
Those times are few and far in between, I gotta say. Uh, have you contracted with other captains? Sure do. Some of it was even legal. Oh, really? <laughs> Didn't expect that. <laughs> We're joking about being a pi oh, so she I guess she was talking about that at one point, wasn't she? What gave it away? It's the hair, right? Tut yeah, okay. Belt? I had it custom made. Oh really? Hmm. A casual outlook on legality. <laughs> no, it's fine. I, I don't care if that was meant as a compliment or not. What makes you want to look like one? Gotta advertise your business somehow. Excuse me. I've done all types of work with all kinds of crews. If there's one thing you ought to know about me, it's that I won't tell you your business. Your ship, your way. All right, well, fair enough. I'll try to keep things yeah, above board, I was about to say. So, hope that won't be a problem. Sounds reasonable. As long as you've never been much of a, as long as you know I've never been much of a rule follower. <laughs> um, I'm just going to say it sounds reasonable. I sort of just go with my own method here. I, I don't necessarily... I try to keep things above board, but I don't necessarily always do that, so I'll just say it sounds reasonable. Glad to hear. It's worked for me this long. Um, I guess they're going to make me ask, aren't they? Well, my blood type is AB positive. I'm a Leo, and I despise Space Hospital. Never mind what anyone else tries to tell you. What the hell is Space Hospital? That about covers it. Now, yeah, this is digging deep, isn't it? All right. Oh, come on. That stuff's boring. Well, I mean, stuff for me isn't <laughs> that boring. You are deflecting, but... Look, the thing I've learned about living in close quarters is that you've got to give people room to breathe. I'm all for making a few bits together and having fun doing it, but let's keep a little professional distance. All right. I gotta admit, Ellie, you're the first person who's not poured their entire life story out to me when I met them, so it, you, you have to forgive me. This whole captain thing is fairly new to me, and sometimes it takes a little getting used to. No complaints here. Uh, okay. So, you just get whatever food you need. I'll be downstairs. Did I ever check what was in here? Is this just the bathroom? Yeah, this is just the bathroom. Okay. Oh, hi, Parvati. I'm gonna go down now, and we're gonna use the respec machine, I think. I'm trying to think if I want to or not. I know I do want to for my companions, at least, so... Is currently idle. No, I'll want worry about that. Brand now. New you? Try out our respecification machine. Alex installed it himself. Right before he died. Tch. <laughs> Maybe he should have, uh... Taking a little peek through the respec machine so he could train his athleticism a little more. Choosing to respec refunds all your spent skill and perk points so you can spend them in a different way. The price to respec will increase each time you use the machine. Okay. You can spend 500 bits to refund all of your skill. I want to refund all of my partner's skill and perk points, actually. I wonder if you can do that. Let me save real quick just to find out. And now let's check. Okay, that refunded me. Now let me see if it refunded that. It did refund them, because see, there we go. Okay, so it does in fact refund them. All right, well that's fine. That was more what I'm concerned with, was refunding these two. Or, yeah, not even Ellie and Felix, actually. It was more just for Parvati and the Vicar, so. All right, so we know we want health. And we're going to give you health instead of the engineering thing this time. There we go. And then, whoops, wrong wrong button. There we go. That should keep them alive a little bit longer in massive firefights, which uh, will hopefully go a little bit better for us in the next time. Uh, and then I have to respend my perk points, so we'll go do that as well. Um, so we're still looking into getting that thing. I have a lot of stuff that I can go do. <laughs> uh, these are all here. We gotta go find this guy in Monarch. We can't go there yet. As long as we eventually get everything to point us towards Monarch in our quest log, that should help out a little bit. But uh, of course, we need to get uh, we need to get this first. So, stressing on Terra Two for Roseway. 
I think we've I think we can actually go to Roseway now. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I need to view this distress signal recording before we go do anything else. I'll uh, I'll spend these points off screen and just respect myself how I want. And then we'll uh, we'll go from there, but I'll I'll do that uh, like I said off screen when I'm done here. So maybe I'll go back in the groundbreaker and just uh, re-equip everybody as well, like give them whatever gear I think would suit them. We'll see. All right, distress signal, Ada. Welcome back, Captain. Thank you. How can I be of assistance? I have a distress signal for you. Sort of why you can waltz around the territories of different factions without being openly targeted. Oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> nice. Um, pick up the distress call. Can you play back for me? Yes, Captain. Beginning playback now. There's, there's viscera and death everywhere. Gunfire, gnashing teeth. The unemployed. <laughs> I love how they always use the unemployed as like a terrible thing. Captain, we are now capable of accessing the Roseway landing pad. Okay, well that explains also, that. Corporate protocol requires that all distress signals include a list of key personnel for retrieval. The embedded names are Anton Crane, Von Cortez, and Orson Shaw. So we got to find uh, an Anton, a Vaughn, and Orson. Okay. Thank you, Ada. I will talk to you later yeah, once we do that. You. Of course, as I am sure you are aware, luck does not exist. But it seems to comfort humans to believe they possess good quantities of it. <laughs> Let's be honest, Ada. If my luck was anything other than atrocious at this point, I'd be shocked. But anyway, like I said, I'll take care of my respec points there. I'll probably just put them into mostly the same stuff that I did, but I'll think about it. Uh, but we'll, we'll do that off screen. We'll see what we're going to do about this whole situation with the Groundbreaker. We've got a distress signal to investigate, and I actually may try to go over to Phineas Wells' ship just to see if there's anything over there. At the very least, he'd probably be reassured that I made it out of there alive. I mean, he did see me on a, on, a, on a signal call previously before we got in the Groundbreaker, but I don't know, either way, he may have something for us to check out. It seems at this point that the sky is no longer the limit, so we, we've got a little bit of openness and options, and we're going to investigate just a few of them on the next episode of The Outer Worlds, the stream edition. So, thank you for watching, everybody. I appreciate you coming out to Twitch and YouTube to check out the stream. I will post the schedule for next week's streams, on Twitter, Discord, Twitch, below the stream there, and on YouTube um, in just a few moments once I get the description done for this one. But the next stream is going to be on Monday at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So until then, everybody, take care and have a good night. I'm signing off from the stars tonight. At least I'm not looking at the inside of the hull of a ship. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like being in space as much as the next guy, but... If there's one reason, and only one reason, that I came out here, it's for the view. Look at that shit, man. It goes on forever. It's nice. <laughs>